Jeremiah chapter 1 Words of Jeremiah son of Hilkiah, of the priests who, are, in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. Unto whom the word of Jehovah hath been in the days of Josiah son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. And it is in the days of Jehoiakim son of Josiah, king of Judah, till the completion of the eleventh year of Zedekiah son of Josiah, king of Judah, till the removal of Jerusalem in the fifth month. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Before I form thee in the belly, I have known thee, and before thou comest forth from the womb I have separated thee, a prophet to nations I have made thee. And I say, Ah, Lord Jehovah! Lo, I have not known to speak, for I am a youth. And Jehovah saith unto me, Do not say, I am a youth, for to all to whom I send thee thou goest, and all that I command thee thou speakest. Be not afraid of their faces, for with thee am I to deliver thee an affirmation of Jehovah. And Jehovah putteth forth his hand, and striketh against my mouth, and Jehovah saith unto me, Lo, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have charged thee this day concerning the nations, and concerning the kingdoms, to pluck up, and to break down, and to destroy, and to throw down, to build, and to plant. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, What art thou seeing, Jeremiah? And I say, A rod of an almond tree I am seeing. And Jehovah saith unto me, Thou hast well seen for I am watching over my word to do it. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me a second time, saying, What art thou seeing? And I say, A blown pot I am seeing, and its face, is, from the north. And Jehovah saith unto me, From the north is the evil loosed against all inhabitants of the land. For, lo, I am calling for all families of the kingdoms of the north an affirmation of Jehovah, and they have come, and put each his throne at the opening of the gates of Jerusalem, and by its walls round about, and by all cities of Judah. And I have spoken my judgments with them concerning all their evil, in that they have forsaken me, and make perfume to other gods, and bow themselves to the works of their own hands. And thou, thou dost gird up thy loins, and hast arisen and spoken unto them all that I command thee, be not affrighted because of them, lest I affright thee before them. And I, lo, I have given thee this day for a fenced city, and for an iron pillar, and for brazen walls over all the land, to the kings of Judah, to its heads, to its priests, and to the people of the land. And they have fought against thee, and they prevail not against thee, for with thee am I an affirmation of Jehovah, to deliver thee. Jeremiah chapter 2 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Go, and thou hast called in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said Jehovah, I have remembered for thee the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, thy going after me in a wilderness, in a land not sown. Holy is Israel to Jehovah, the first fruit of his increase, all consuming him are guilty, evil cometh in unto them, an affirmation of Jehovah. Hear a word of Jehovah, O house of Jacob, and all ye families of the house of Israel. Thus said Jehovah, What have your fathers found in me perversity, that they have gone far off from me, and go after the vanity, and become vain? And have not said, Where is Jehovah? who bringeth us up out of the land of Egypt, who leteth us in a wilderness, in a land of deserts and pits, in a dry land, and of death shade, in a land, none hath passed through it, nor dwelt hath man there? Yea, I bring you into a land of fruitful fields, to eat its fruit and its goodness, and ye come in and defile my land, and mine inheritance have made an abomination. The priests have not said, Where is Jehovah. And those handling the law have not known me. 
and the shepherds transgressed against me, and the prophets have prophesied by Baal, and after those who profit not have gone. Therefore, yet I plead with you, an affirmation of Jehovah, and with your sons' sons I plead. For, pass to the isles of Chittim, and see, and to Kedar send, and consider well, and see if there hath been like this. Hath a nation changed gods? And they, are, no gods. And my people hath changed its honor for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, ye heavens, at this, yea, be frightened, be greatly wasted, an affirmation of Jehovah. For two evils hath my people done, me they have forsaken, a fountain of living waters, to hew out for themselves wells, broken wells, that contain not the waters. A servant, is, Israel? Is he a child of the house? Wherefore hath he been for a prey? Against him roar do young lions, they have given forth their voice, and make his land become a desolation, his cities have been burnt without inhabitant. Also sons of Naf and Tahapanes consume thee the crown of the head. Dost thou not do this to thyself? By, thy forsaking Jehovah thy God, at the time he is leading thee in the way? And now, what to thee in the way of Egypt, to drink the waters of Sire? And what to thee in the way of Ashur, to drink the waters of the river? Instruct thee doth thy wickedness, and thy backslidings reprove thee, know and see that an evil and a bitter thing, is, thy forsaking Jehovah thy God, and my fear not being on thee, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah of hosts. For from of old thou hast broken thy yoke, drawn away thy bands, and sayest, I do not serve, for, on every high height, and under every green tree, thou art wandering, a harlot. And I planted thee a choice vine, wholly a true seed, and how hast thou been turned to me, to the degenerate shoots of a strange vine? But though thou dost wash with nitre, and dost multiply to thyself soap, marked is thine iniquity before me, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. How sayest thou, I have not been defiled, after the Balaam I have not gone? See thy way in a valley, know what thou hast done, a swift dromedary winding her ways. A wild ass accustomed to a wilderness, in the desire of her soul she hath swallowed up wind, her meeting, who doth turn her back. None seeking her do weary themselves, in her month they find her. Withhold thy foot from being unshod, and thy throat from thirst, and thou sayest, It is incurable, no, for I have loved strangers, and after them I go. As the shame of a thief when he is found, so put to shame have been the house of Israel, they, their kings, their heads, and their priests, and their prophets. Saying to wood, My father, art thou? And to a stone, thou hast brought me forth, for they turned unto me the back and not the face, and in the time of their vexation, they say, Arise thou, and save us. And where, are, thy gods, that thou hast made to thyself? Let them arise, if they may save thee, in the time of thy vexation, for the number of thy cities have been thy gods, O Judah. Why do ye strive with me? All of you have transgressed against me, an affirmation of Jehovah. In vain I have smitten your sons, instruction they have not accepted, devoured hath your sword your prophets, as a destroying lion. O generation, see ye the word of Jehovah, a wilderness have I been to Israel? A land of thick darkness? Wherefore have my people said, We mourned, we come not in again unto thee? Doth a virgin forget her ornaments? A bride her bands? And my people have forgotten me days without number. What dost thou make pleasing thy ways to seek love? Therefore even the wicked thou hast taught thy ways. Also in thy skirts hath been found the blood of innocent needy souls, not by digging have I found them, but upon all these. And thou sayest, because I have been innocent, 
surely turn back hath his anger from me? Lo, I have been judged with thee, because of thy saying, I have not sinned. What? Thou art very vile to repeat thy way, even of Egypt thou art ashamed, as thou hast been ashamed of Ashur. Also from this thou goest out, and thy hands on thy head, for Jehovah hath kicked at thy confidences, and thou dost not give prosperity to them. Jeremiah chapter 3 Saying, Lo, one sendeth away his wife, and she hath gone from him, and she hath been to another man, doth he turn back unto her again? Greatly defiled is not that land? And thou hast committed whoredom with many lovers, and turn again to me, an affirmation of Jehovah. Lift thine eyes to the high places, and see, where hast thou not been lain with? On the ways thou hast sat for them, as an Arab in a wilderness, and thou defilest the land, by thy fornications, and by thy wickedness. And withheld are showers, and gathered rain hath not been. The forehead of a whorish woman thou hast, thou hast refused to be ashamed. Hast thou not henceforth called to me, my father, thou, art, the leader of my youth? Doth he keep to the age? Watch forever. Lo, these things thou hast spoken, and thou dost the evil things, and prevailest. And Jehovah saith unto me, in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She is going on every high mountain, and unto the place of every green tree, and committeth fornication there. And I say, after her doing all these, unto me thou dost turn back, and she hath not turned back, and see, it, doth her treacherous sister Judah. And I see when, for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I have sent her away, and I give the bill of her divorce unto her, that treacherous Judah her sister hath not feared, and goeth and committeth fornication, she also. And it hath come to pass, from the vileness of her fornication, that the land is defiled, and she committeth fornication with stone and with wood. And even in all this her treacherous sister Judah hath not turned back unto me with all her heart, but with falsehood, an affirmation of Jehovah. And Jehovah saith unto me, Justified herself hath backsliding Israel, more than treacherous Judah. Go, and thou hast proclaimed these words toward the north, and hast said, Turn back, O backsliding Israel, an affirmation of Jehovah. I cause not mine anger to fall upon you, for I am kind, an affirmation of Jehovah. I watch not to the age. Only, know thine iniquity, for against Jehovah thy God thou hast transgressed, and thou dost scatter thy ways to strangers, under every green tree, and to my voice thou hast not hearkened, an affirmation of Jehovah. Turn back, O backsliding sons, an affirmation of Jehovah. For I have ruled over you, and taken you one of a city, and two of a family and have brought you to Zion. And I have given to you shepherds according to mine own heart, and they have fed you with knowledge and understanding. And it hath come to pass, when ye are multiplied, and have been fruitful in the land, in those days, an affirmation of Jehovah, they say not any more, the ark of the covenant of Jehovah, nor doth it go up on the heart, nor do they remember concerning it, nor do they inspect, nor is it made again. At that time they cry to Jerusalem, O throne of Jehovah, and gathered unto her hath been all the nations, for the name of Jehovah, to Jerusalem, nor do they go any more after the stubbornness of their evil heart. In those days do the house of Judah go unto the house of Israel, and they come together from the land of the south, unto the land that I caused your fathers to inherit. And I have said, How do I put thee among the sons? and give to thee a desirable land, a beauteous inheritance of the hosts of nations, and I say, My father, ye do call to me, and from after me ye do not turn back. But, a woman hath deceived her friend, so ye have dealt treacherously with me, 
O house of Israel, an affirmation of Jehovah. A voice on high places is heard, weeping, supplications of the sons of Israel, for they have made perverse their way, they have forgotten Jehovah their God. Turn back, O backsliding sons, I cause your backslidings to cease. Behold us, we have come to thee, for thou art Jehovah our God. Surely in vain from the heights, the multitude of mountains surely in Jehovah our God, is the salvation of Israel. And the shameful thing hath devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flock and their herd, their sons and their daughters. We have lain down in our shame, and cover us doth our confusion, for against Jehovah our God we have sinned, we, and our fathers, from our youth even unto this day, nor have we hearkened to the voice of Jehovah our God. Jeremiah chapter 4 If thou dost turn back, O Israel, an affirmation of Jehovah, unto me turn back, and if thou dost turn aside thine abominations from my face, then thou dost not bemoan. And thou hast sworn, Jehovah liveth, in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness, and blessed themselves in him have nations, and in him they boast themselves. For thus said Jehovah, to the man of Judah, and to Jerusalem, till for yourselves tillage, and do not sow unto the thorns. Be circumcised to Jehovah, and turn aside the foreskins of your heart, O man of Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury go out as fire, and hath burned, and there is none quenching, because of the evil of your doings. Declare in Judah, and in Jerusalem sound, and say ye, Blow a trumpet in the land, call ye fully, and say ye, Be gathered, and we go into the fenced city. Lift up an ensign Zion ward, strengthen yourselves, stand not still, for evil I am bringing in from the north, and a great destruction. Gone up hath a lion from his thicket, and a destroyer of nations hath journeyed, he hath come forth from his place to make thy land become a desolation, thy cities are laid waste, without inhabitant. For this, gird on sackcloth, lament and howl, for the fierce anger of Jehovah hath not turned back from us. And it hath come to pass, in that day, an affirmation of Jehovah, perish doth the heart of the king, and the heart of the princes, and astonished have been the priests, and the prophets do wonder. And I say, Ah, Lord Jehovah, surely thou hast entirely forgotten this people and Jerusalem, saying, Peace is for you, and struck hath a sword unto the soul. At that time it is said of this people, and of Jerusalem, a dry wind of high places in the wilderness, the way of the daughter of my people, not for winnowing, nor for cleansing. A full wind from these doth come for me, now, also, I speak judgments with them. Lo, as clouds he cometh up, and as a hurricane his chariots, lighter than eagles have been his horses, what to us, for we have been spoiled. Wash from evil thy heart, O Jerusalem, that thou mayest be saved, till when dost thou lodge in thy heart thoughts of thy strength? For a voice is declaring from Dan, and sounding sorrow from Mount Ephraim. Make ye mention to the nations, Lo, sound ye to Jerusalem, besiegers are coming from the land afar off, and they give forth against cities of Judah their voice. As the keepers of a field they have been against her roundabout, for with me she hath been rebellious, an affirmation of Jehovah. Thy way and thy doings have done these to thee, this, is, thy vexation, for, it is, bitter, for it hath struck unto thy heart. My bowels, my bowels. I am pained, at, the walls of my heart, make a noise for me doth my heart, I am not silent, for the voice of a trumpet I have heard, O my soul, a shout of battle. Destruction on destruction is proclaimed, for spoiled hath been all the land, suddenly spoiled have been my tents, in a moment my curtains. Till when do I see an ensign? Do I hear the voice of a trumpet? For my people, are, foolish, 
me they have not known, foolish sons, are, they, yeah, they, are, not intelligent, wise, are, they to do evil, and to do good they have not known. I looked, to, the land, and lo, waste and void, and unto the heavens, and their light is not. I have looked, to, the mountains, and lo, they are trembling. And all the hills move themselves lightly. I have looked, and lo, man is not, and all fowls of the heavens have fled. I have looked, and lo, the fruitful place, is, a wilderness, and all its cities have been broken down, because of Jehovah, because of the fierceness of his anger. For thus said Jehovah, all the land is a desolation, but a completion I make not. For this doth the land mourn, and black have been the heavens above, because I have spoken, I have purposed, and I have not repented, nor do I turn back from it. From the voice of the horseman, and of him shooting with the bow, all the city is fleeing, they have come into thickets, and on cliffs they have gone up, all the city is forsaken, and there is no one dwelling in them. And thou, O spoiled one, what dost thou? For thou puttiest on scarlet, for thou adornest thyself, with, ornaments of gold. For thou rendest with pain thine eyes, in vain thou dost make thyself fair, kicked against thee have doting ones, thy life they do seek. For a voice as of a sick woman I have heard, distress, as of one bringing forth a firstborn, the voice of the daughter of Zion, she bewaileth herself, she spreadeth out her hands, what to me now, for weary is my soul of slayers. Jeremiah chapter 5 Go to and fro in streets of Jerusalem, and see, I pray you, and know, and seek in her broad places, if ye find a man, if there be one doing judgment, seeking steadfastness, then am I propitious to her. And if they say, Jehovah liveth, surely to a falsehood they swear. Jehovah, thine eyes, are they not on steadfastness? Thou hast smitten them, and they have not grieved, thou hast consumed them, they have refused to receive instruction, they made their faces harder than a rock, they have refused to turn back. And I, I said, surely these, are, poor, they have been foolish, for they have not known the way of Jehovah, the judgment of their God. I get me to the great, and I speak with them, for they have known the way of Jehovah, the judgment of their God. Surely they together have broken the yoke, they have drawn away the bands. Therefore smitten them hath a lion out of the forest, a wolf of the deserts doth spoil them, a leopard is watching over their cities, every one who is going out of them is torn, for many have been their transgressions, mighty have been their backslidings. For this I am not propitious to thee, thy sons have forsaken me, and are satisfied by that which is not God, I satisfy them, and they commit adultery, and at the house of a harlot they gather themselves together. Fed horses, they have been early risers, each to the wife of his neighbor they nay. For these do I not lay a charge? An affirmation of Jehovah, and on a nation such as this, doth not my soul avenge itself? Go ye up on her walls, and destroy, and the completion make not, turn aside her branches, for they, are, not Jehovah's. For dealt treacherously against me have the house of Israel, and the house of Judah, an affirmation of Jehovah. They have lied against Jehovah, and they say, It is, not he, nor come and against us doth evil, yea, sword and famine we do not see. And the prophets become wind, and the word is not in them, thus it is done by them. Therefore, thus said Jehovah, God of hosts, because of your speaking this word, lo, I am making my words in thy mouth become fire, and this people would, and it hath devoured them. Lo, I am bringing against you a nation from afar, O house of Israel, an affirmation of Jehovah, a nation, strong it, is, a nation, from of old it, is, a nation, thou knowest not its tongue, 
nor understandest what it speaketh. Its quiver is, as an open sepulchre, all of them mighty ones. And it hath consumed thy harvest and thy bread, they consume thy sons, and thy daughters, it consumeth thy flock, and thy herd, it consumeth thy vine, and thy fig tree, it mocketh poor thy fenced cities, in which thou art trusting, by the sword. And even in those days, an affirmation of Jehovah, I do not make you a completion. And it hath come to pass, when ye say, For what hath Jehovah our God done to us all these? That thou hast said unto them, As ye have forsaken me, and serve the gods of a foreigner in your land, so do ye serve strangers in a land not yours. Declare ye this in the house of Jacob, and sound ye it in Judah, saying, Hear ye, I pray you, this, O people, foolish and without heart, eyes they have, and they see not, ears they have, and they hear not. Me do ye not fear, an affirmation of Jehovah? From my presence are ye not pained? Who hath made sand the border of the sea, a limit age during, and it passeth not over it, they shake themselves, and they are not able, yea, sounded have its billows, and they pass not over. And this people hath an apostate and rebellious heart, they have turned aside, and they go on. And they have not said in their heart, Let us fear, we pray you, Jehovah our God, who is giving rain, the sprinkling and the gathered, in its season, the appointed weeks of harvest he keepeth for us. Your iniquities have turned these away, and your sins have kept the good from you. For the wicked have been found among my people. It looketh about the covering of snares, they have set up a trap, men they capture. As a cage full of fowls, so their houses are full of deceit, therefore they have been great, and are rich. They have been fat, they have shown, yeah, they have overpassed the acts of the evil, judgment they have not judged, the judgment of the fatherless, and they prosper, and the judgment of the needy they have not judged. For these do not I inspect, an affirmation of Jehovah, on a nation such as this, doth not my soul avenge itself? An astonishing and horrible thing hath been in the land. The prophets have prophesied falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people have loved, it, so, and what do they at its latter end? Jeremiah chapter 6 Strengthen yourselves, sons of Benjamin, from the midst of Jerusalem, and in Tico blow ye a trumpet, and over Beth Haxorim lift ye up a flame, for evil hath been seen from the north, and great destruction. The comely and the delicate one I have cut off, the daughter of Zion. Unto her come do shepherds and their droves, they have stricken tents by her roundabout, they have fed each, in, his own station. Sanctify ye against her the battle, rise, and we go up at noon. What to us, for turned hath the day, for stretched out are the shades of evening. Rise, and we go up by night, and we destroy her palaces. For thus said Jehovah of hosts, Cut down her wood, and pour out against Jerusalem a mount, she, is, the city to be inspected, holy, she is oppression in her midst. As the digging of a well, is, for, its waters, so she hath digged, for, her wickedness, violence and spoil is heard in her, before my face continually, are, sickness and smiting. Be instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul be alienated from thee, lest I make thee a desolation, a land not inhabited. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, they surely glean, as a vine, the remnant of Israel, put back thy hand, as a gatherer to the baskets. To whom do I speak, and testify, and they hear? Lo, their ear, is, uncircumcised, and they are not able to attend. Lo, a word of Jehovah hath been to them for a reproach, they delight not in it. And with the fury of Jehovah I have been filled, I have been weary of containing, to pour, it, on the suckling in the street, 
and on the assembly of youths together, for even husband with wife are captured, and elder with one full of days. And their houses have been turned to others, fields and wives together, for I stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, an affirmation of Jehovah. For from their least unto their greatest, every one is gaining dishonest gain, and from prophet even unto priest, every one is dealing falsely. And they heal the breach of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, and there is no peace. They were ashamed when they did abomination. Yeah, they are not at all ashamed, yeah, blushing they have not known, therefore they do fall among those falling. In the time I have inspected them, they stumble, said Jehovah. Thus said Jehovah, Stand ye by the ways and see, and ask for paths of old, where, is, this, the good way? And go ye in it, and find rest for yourselves. And they say, We do not go. And I have raised up for you watchmen, attend ye to the voice of the trumpet. And they say, We do not attend. Therefore hear, O nations, and know, O company, that which is upon them. Hear, O earth, lo, I am bringing evil on this people, the fruit of their devices, for to my words they gave no attention, and my law, they kick against it. Why, is, this to me? Frankincense from Sheba cometh, and the sweet cane from a land afar off, your burnt offerings, are, not for acceptance, and your sacrifices have not been sweet to me. Therefore thus said Jehovah, Lo, I do give to this people stumbling blocks, and stumbled against them have fathers and sons together, the neighbor and his friend do perish. Thus said Jehovah, Lo, a people hath come from a north country, and a great nation is stirred up from the sides of the earth. Bow and javelin they take hold of, fierce it, is, and they have no mercy, their voice as a sea doth sound, and on horses they ride, set in array as a man of war, against thee, O daughter of Zion. We have heard its sound, feeble have been our hands, distress hath seized us, pain as of a traveling woman. Go not forth to the field, and in the way walk not, for a sword hath the enemy, fear, is, roundabout. O daughter of my people, gird on sackcloth, and roll thyself in ashes, the morning of an only one make for thee, a lamentation most bitter, for suddenly come doth the spoiler against us. A watchtower I have given thee, among my people a fortress, and thou knowest, and hast tried their way. All of them are turned aside by apostates, walking slanderously, brass and iron, all of them are corruptors. The bellows have been burnt, by fire hath the lead been consumed, in vain hath a refiner refined, and the wicked have not been drawn away. Silver rejected, they have called to them, for Jehovah hath kicked against them. Jeremiah chapter 7 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Stand in the gate of the house of Jehovah, and thou hast proclaimed there this word, and hast said, Hear a word of Jehovah, all ye of Judah, who are coming in at these gates, to bow before Jehovah. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, amend your ways, and your doings, and I cause you to dwell in this place. Do not trust for yourselves unto the words of falsehood, saying, The temple of Jehovah, the temple of Jehovah, the temple of Jehovah, are, they. For, if ye do thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye do judgment thoroughly between a man and his neighbor. Sojourner, fatherless, and widow, ye oppress not, and innocent blood do not shed in this place, and after other gods do not walk, for evil to yourselves. Then I have caused you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers, from age even unto age. Lo, ye are trusting for yourselves on the words of falsehood, so as not to profit. Stealing, murdering, and committing adultery, and swearing to falsehood, and giving perfume to Baal, 
and going after other gods whom ye knew not. And ye have come in and stood before me, in this house on which my name is called, and have said, We have been delivered, in order to do all these abominations. A den of burglars hath this house, on which my name is called, been in your eyes? Even I, lo, I have seen, an affirmation of Jehovah. But go ye, I pray you, unto my place that, is, in Shiloh, where I caused my name to dwell at first, and see that which I have done to it, for the wickedness of my people Israel. And now, because of your doing all these works, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I speak unto you, rising early and speaking, and ye have not hearkened, and I call you, and ye have not answered. I also to the house on which my name is called, in which ye are trusting, and to the place that I gave to you, and to your fathers, have done, as I have done to Shiloh. And I have cast you from before my face, as I have cast out all your brethren, the whole seed of Ephraim. And thou dost not pray for this people, nor lift up for them crying in prayer, nor intercede with me, for I hear thee not. Art thou not seeing what they are doing in cities of Judah, and in streets of Jerusalem? The sons are gathering wood, and the fathers are causing the fire to burn, and the women are kneading dough, to make cakes to the queen of the heavens, and to pour out libations to other gods, so as to provoke me to anger. Me are they provoking to anger? An affirmation of Jehovah, is it not themselves, for the shame of their own faces? Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, mine anger and my fury is poured out on this place, on man, and beast, and on tree of the field, and on fruit of the ground, and it hath burned, and it is not quenched. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, your burnt offerings add to your sacrifices, and eat ye flesh. For I did not speak with your fathers, nor did I command them in the day of my bringing them out of the land of Egypt, concerning the matters of burnt offering and sacrifice. But this thing I commanded them, saying, Hearken to my voice, and I have been to you for God, and ye, ye are to me for a people, and have walked in all the way that I command you, so that it is well for you. And they have not hearkened, nor inclined their ear, and they walk in the counsels, in the stubbornness, of their evil heart, and are for backward, and not for forward. Even from the day when your fathers went out of the land of Egypt till this day, I send to you all my servants the prophets, daily rising early and sending. And they have not hearkened unto me, nor inclined their ear, and hardened their neck, they have done evil above their fathers. And thou hast spoken unto them all these words, and they do not hearken to thee, and thou hast called unto them, and they do not answer thee. And thou hast said unto them, This, is, the nation that hath not hearkened to the voice of Jehovah its God, nor have they accepted instruction, perished hath steadfastness, yea, it hath been cut off from their mouth. Cut off thy crown, and cast, it, away and lift up on high places lamentation, for Jehovah hath rejected, and he leaveth the generation of his wrath. For the sons of Judah have done the evil thing in mine eyes, an affirmation of Jehovah, they have set their abominations in the house on which my name is called, to defile it. And have built the high places of Tophet, that, are, in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters with fire which I did not command, nor did it come up on my heart. Therefore, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and it is not said any more, the Tophet, and valley of the son of Hinnom, but valley of the slaughter, and they have buried in Tophet without place. And the carcass of this people hath been for food to a fowl of the heavens, and to a beast of the earth, and there is none troubling. And I have caused to cease from cities of Judah, and from streets of Jerusalem, the voice of joy, and the voice of gladness, voice of bridegroom, and voice of bride, for the land doth become a desolation. Jeremiah chapter 8
At that time, an affirmation of Jehovah, they bring the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of its princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of inhabitants of Jerusalem, out of their graves. And have spread them to sun, and to moon, and to all the host of the heavens, that they have loved, and that they have served, and that they have walked after, and that they have sought, and to which they have bowed themselves, they are not gathered, nor buried, they are for dung on the face of the ground. And chosen is death rather than life by all the remnant who are left of this evil family, in all the remaining places, whither I have driven them, an affirmation of Jehovah of hosts. And thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah, Do they fall, and not rise? Doth he turn back, and not return? Wherefore hath this people of Jerusalem turned back, a perpetual backsliding? They have kept hold on deceit, they have refused to turn back. I have given attention, yea, I hearken, they do not speak right, no man hath repented of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Every one hath turned to his courses, as a horse is rushing into battle. Even a stork in the heavens hath known her seasons, and turtle, and swallow, and crane, have watched the time of their coming, and my people have not known the judgment of Jehovah. How do ye say, We are wise, and the law of Jehovah is with us? Surely, lo, falsely it hath wrought the false pen of scribes. Ashamed have been the wise, they have been affrighted, and are captured, lo, against a word of Jehovah they kicked, and the wisdom of what have they? Therefore, I give their wives to others, their fields to dispossessors, for from the least even unto the greatest, every one is gaining dishonest gain, from prophet even unto priest, every one is dealing falsely. And they heal the breach of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace. And there is no peace. They were ashamed when they did abomination. Yea, they are not at all ashamed, and blushing they have not known, therefore, they do fall among falling ones, in the time of their inspection they stumble, said Jehovah. I utterly consume them, an affirmation of Jehovah. There are no grapes in the vine, yea, there are no figs in the fig tree, and the leaf hath faded, and the strength they have passeth from them. Wherefore are we sitting still? Be gathered, and we go into the fenced cities, and we are silent there, for Jehovah our God hath made us silent, yea, he causeth us to drink water of gall, for we have sinned against Jehovah. Looking for peace, and there is no good, for a time of healing, and lo, terror. From Dan hath been heard the snorting of his horses, from the voice of the names of his mighty ones, trembled hath all the land, and they come in and consume the land and its fullness, the city and the inhabitants in it. For, lo, I am sending among you serpents, vipers that have no charmer, and they have bitten you, an affirmation of Jehovah. My refreshing for me, is, sorrow, for me my heart, is, sick. Lo, the voice of a cry of the daughter of my people from a land afar off, is Jehovah not in Zion? Is her king not in her? Wherefore have they provoked me with their graven images, with the vanities of a foreigner? Harvest hath passed, summer hath ended, and we, we have not been saved. For a breach of the daughter of my people have I been broken, I have been black, astonishment hath seized me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? For wherefore hath not the health of the daughter of my people gone up? Jeremiah chapter 9 Who doth make my head waters, and mine I a fountain of tears? And I weep by day and by night for the wounded of the daughter of my people. Who doth give me in a wilderness a lodging place of travelers? And I leave my people, and go from them, for all of them, are, adulterers, an assembly of treacherous ones. And they bend their tongue, their bow, is, 
a lie, and not for steadfastness have they been mighty in the land, for from evil unto evil they have gone forth, and me they have not known, an affirmation of Jehovah. Each of his friend, beware ye, and on any brother, do not trust, for every brother doth utterly supplant, for every friend slanderously doth walk. And each at his friend they mock, and truth they do not speak, they taught their tongue to speak falsehood, to commit iniquity they have labored. Thy dwelling, is, in the midst of deceit, through deceit they refuse to know me, an affirmation of Jehovah. Therefore, thus said Jehovah of hosts, Lo, I am refining them, and have tried them, for how do I do because of the daughter of my people? A slaughtering arrow, is, their tongue, deceit it hath spoken in its mouth, peace with its neighbor it speaketh, and in its heart it layeth its ambush. For these things do not I see after them? An affirmation of Jehovah, against a nation such as this doth not my soul avenge itself? For the mountains I lift up weeping and wailing, and for the habitations of the wilderness a lamentation, for they have been burnt up without any passing over, nor have they heard the voice of cattle, from the fowl of the heavens unto the beast they have fled, they have gone. And I make Jerusalem become heaps, a habitation of dragons, and the cities of Judah I make a desolation, without inhabitant. Who is the wise man? And he understandeth this, and he to whom the mouth of Jehovah spake. And he doth declare it, for what hath the land perished? It hath been burnt up as a wilderness, without any passing through. And Jehovah saith, because of their forsaking my law that I set before them, and they have not hearkened to my voice nor walked in it. And they walk after the stubbornness of their heart, and after the Balaam, that their fathers taught them. Therefore, thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am causing them, this people, to eat wormwood, and I have caused them to drink water of gall. And I have scattered them among nations which they knew not, they and their fathers, and have sent after them the sword, till I have consumed them. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Consider ye, and call for mourning women, and they come, and to the wise women send, and they come. And they hasten, and lift up for us a wailing. And run down our eyes do tears, and from our eyelids do waters flow. For a voice of wailing is heard from Zion, how have we been spoiled? We have been greatly ashamed, because we have forsaken the land, because they have cast down our tabernacles. But here, ye women, a word of Jehovah, and your ear receiveth a word of his mouth, and teach ye your daughters wailing, and each her neighbor lamentation. For death hath come up into our windows, it hath come into our palaces, to cut off the suckling from without, young men from the broad places. Speak thus an affirmation of Jehovah, and fallen hath the carcass of man, as dung on the face of the field, and as a handful after the reaper, and there is none gathering. Thus said Jehovah, Let not the wise boast himself in his wisdom, nor let the mighty boast himself in his might, let not the rich boast himself in his riches. But, in this let the boaster boast himself, in understanding and knowing me, for I, am, Jehovah, doing kindness, judgment, and righteousness, in the earth, for in these I have delighted, an affirmation of Jehovah. Lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have laid a charge on all circumcised in the foreskin. On Egypt, and on Judah, and on Edom, and on the sons of Ammon, and on Moab, and on all cutting the corner, of the beard, who are dwelling in the wilderness, for all the nations, are, uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel, are, uncircumcised in heart. Jeremiah chapter 10 Hear ye the word, O house of Israel, that Jehovah hath spoken for you. Thus said Jehovah, Unto the way of the nations accustom not yourselves, and by the signs of the heavens be not affrighted, 
for the nations are affrighted by them. For the statutes of the peoples are vanity, for a tree from a forest hath one cut, work of the hands of an artificer, with an axe. With silver and with gold they beautify it, with nails and with hammers they fix it, and it doth not stumble. As a palm they, are, stiff, and they speak not, they are surely born, for they step not, be not afraid of them, for they do no evil, yea, also to do good is not in them. Because there is none like thee, O Jehovah, great, art, thou, and great thy name in might. Who doth not fear thee, King of the nations? For to thee it is becoming, for among all the wise of the nations, and in all their kingdom there is none like thee. And in one they are brutish and foolish, an instruction of vanities, is, the tree itself. Spread out silver from Tarshish is brought, and gold from Upaz, work of an artisan, and of the hands of a refiner, blue and purple, is, their clothing, work of the skillful, all of them. And Jehovah, is, a God of truth, he, is, a living God, and a king age during, from his wrath shake doth the earth, and nations endure not his indignation. Thus do ye say to them, the gods who the heavens and earth have not made, they do perish from the earth, and from under these heavens. The maker of the earth by his power, the establisher of the world by his wisdom, who, by his understanding, stretched forth the heavens. At the voice he giveth forth, a multitude of waters, is, in the heavens, and he causeth vapors to come up from the end of the earth, lightnings for rain he hath made, and bringeth out wind from his treasures. Brutish is every man by knowledge, put to shame is every refiner by a graven image, for false, is, his molten image. And there is no breath in them. Vanity, are, they, work of erring ones, in the time of their inspection they perish. Not like these, is, the portion of Jacob, for framer of all things, is, he, and Israel, is, the rod of his inheritance, Jehovah of hosts, is, his name. Gather from the land thy merchandise, O dweller in the bulwark. For thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am slinging out the inhabitants of the land at this time, and have been an adversary to them, so that they are found out. What to me for my breaking, grievous hath been my smiting, and I said, Only, this, is, my sickness, and I bear it. My tent hath been spoiled, and all my cords have been broken, my sons have gone out from me, and they are not, there is none stretching out any more my tent, and raising up my curtains. For the shepherds have become brutish, and Jehovah they have not sought, therefore they have not acted wisely, and all their flock is scattered. A voice of a report, lo, it hath come even a great shaking from the north country, to make the cities of Judah a desolation, a habitation of dragons. I have known, O Jehovah, that not of man, is, his way, not of man the going and establishing of his step. Chastise me, O Jehovah, only in judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou make me small. Pour out thy fury on the nations that have not known thee, and on the families that have not called in thy name, for they have eaten up Jacob, yea, they have eaten him up, yea, they consume him, and his habitation they have made desolate. Jeremiah chapter 11 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and ye have spoken unto the men of Judah, and unto the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah God of Israel, Cursed, is, the man who doth not obey the words of this covenant. That I commanded your fathers, in the day of my bringing them out from the land of Egypt, out of the iron furnace, saying, Hearken to my voice, and ye have done them, according to all that I command you, and ye have been to me for a people, and I am to you for God. In order to establish the oath that I have sworn to your fathers, 
to give to them a land flowing with milk and honey, as this day. And I answer and say, Amen, O Jehovah. And Jehovah saith unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and ye have done them. For I certainly testified against your fathers, in the day of my bringing them up out of the land of Egypt, till this day, rising early and testifying, saying, Hearken to my voice. And they have not hearkened nor inclined their ear, and they walk each in the stubbornness of their evil heart, and I bring on them all the words of this covenant, that I commanded to do, and they did not. And Jehovah saith unto me, A conspiracy is found in the men of Judah, and in the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They have turned back to the iniquities of their first fathers, who refused to hear my words, and they have gone after other gods to serve them, the house of Israel, and the house of Judah, have made void my covenant, that I made with their fathers. Therefore thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am bringing in unto them evil, that they are not able to go out from, and they have cried unto me, and I do not hearken unto them. And the cities of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem have gone, and they have cried unto the gods, to whom they are making perfume, and they give no deliverance at all to them, in the time of their vexation. For the number of thy cities have been thy gods, O Judah, and the number of the streets of Jerusalem ye have placed altars to a shameful thing, altars to make perfume to Baal. And thou, thou dost not pray for this people, nor dost thou lift up for them cry and prayer, for I do not hearken in the time of their calling unto me for their vexation. What to my beloved in my house, her doing wickedness with many, and the holy flesh do pass over from thee? When thou dost evil, then thou exultest. An olive, green, fair, of goodly fruit, hath Jehovah called thy name at the noise of a great tumult he hath kindled fire against it, and broken have been its thin branches. And Jehovah of hosts, who is planting thee, hath spoken evil concerning thee, for the evil of the house of Israel, and of the house of Judah, that they have done to themselves, to provoke me to anger, to make perfume to Baal. And, O Jehovah, cause me to know, and I know, then thou hast showed me their doings. And I am as a trained lamb brought to slaughter, and I have not known that against me they have devised devices. We destroy the tree with its food, and cut him off from the land of the living, and his name is not remembered again. And O Jehovah of hosts, judging righteousness, trying reins and heart, I do see thy vengeance against them, for unto thee I have revealed my cause. Therefore, Thus said Jehovah concerning the men of Anathoth, who are seeking thy life, saying, Do not prophesy in the name of Jehovah, and thou dost not die by our hands. Therefore, thus said Jehovah of hosts, Lo, I am seeing after them, the chosen ones die by sword, their sons and their daughters die by famine. And they have no remnant, for I bring evil unto the men of Anathoth the year of their inspection. Jeremiah chapter 12 Righteous, art, thou, O Jehovah, when I plead towards thee, only, judgments do I speak with thee, wherefore did the way of the wicked prosper? At rest have been all treacherous dealers. Thou hast planted them, yeah, they have taken root, they go on, yeah, they have made fruit, near, art, thou in their mouth and far off from their reins. And thou, O Jehovah, thou hast known me, thou sayest me, and hast tried my heart with thee, draw them away as sheep to slaughter, and separate them for a day of slaughter. Till when doth the earth mourn, and the herb of the whole field wither? For the wickedness of those dwelling in it, consumed have been beast and fowl, because they said, He doth not see our latter end. For, with footmen thou hast run, and they weary thee, and how dost thou fret thyself with horses? Even in the land of peace, in which, thou art confident, and how dost thou in the rising of Jordan? 
For even thy brethren and the house of thy father, even they dealt treacherously against thee, even they, they called after thee fully, trust not in them, when they speak to thee good things. I have forsaken my house, I have left mine inheritance, I have given the beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. Mine inheritance hath been to me as a lion in a forest, she gave forth against me with her voice, therefore I have hated her. A speckled fowl, is, mine inheritance to me? Is the fowl round about against her? Come, assemble, every beast of the field, come ye for food. Many shepherds did destroy my vineyard, they have trodden down my portion, they have made my desirable portion become a wilderness, a desolation. He hath made it become a desolation, the desolation hath mourned unto me, desolated hath been all the land, but there is no one laying it to heart. On all high places in the plain have spoilers come in, for the sword of Jehovah is consuming, from the end of the land even unto the end of the land, there is no peace to any flesh. They sowed wheat, and have thorns reaped, they have become sick, they profit not, and they have been ashamed of your increases, because of the fierceness of the anger of Jehovah. Thus said Jehovah concerning all my evil neighbors, who are striking against the inheritance that I caused my people, Israel, to inherit, Lo, I am plucking them from off their ground, and the house of Judah I pluck out of their midst. And it hath been, after my plucking them out, I turn back, and have pitted them, and I have brought them back, each to his inheritance, and each to his land. And it hath come to pass, if they learn well the ways of my people, to swear by my name, Jehovah Liveth, as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then they have been built up in the midst of my people. And if they do not hearken, then I have plucked up that nation, plucking up and destroying, an affirmation of Jehovah. Jeremiah chapter 13 Thus said Jehovah unto me, Go, and thou hast got for thee a girdle of linen, and hast placed it on thy loins, and into water thou dost not cause it to enter. And I get the girdle, according to the word of Jehovah, and I place, it, on my loins. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me a second time, saying, Take the girdle that thou hast got, that, is, on thy loins, and rise, go to Frat, and hide it there in a hole of the rock. And I go and hide it by Frat, as Jehovah commanded me. And it cometh to pass, at the end of many days, that Jehovah saith unto me, Rise, go to Frat, and take thence the girdle, that I commanded thee to hide there. And I go to Frat, and dig, and take the girdle from the place where I had hid it, and lo, the girdle hath been marred, it is not profitable for anything. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Thus said Jehovah. Thus do I mar the excellency of Judah, and the great excellency of Jerusalem. This evil people, who refuse to hear my words, who walk in the stubbornness of their heart, and go after other gods to serve them, and to bow themselves to them, yea it is, as this girdle, that is not profitable for anything. For, as the girdle cleaveth unto the loins of a man, so I cause to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel, and the whole house of Judah, an affirmation of Jehovah, to be to me for a people, and for a name, and for praise, and for beauty, and they have not hearkened. And thou hast said unto them this word, Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, Every bottle is full of wine. And they have said unto thee, Do we not certainly know that every bottle is full of wine? And thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am filling all the inhabitants of this land, and the kings who sit for David on his throne, and the priests, and the prophets, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, with drunkenness and have dashed them one against another, and the fathers and the sons together, an affirmation of Jehovah, I do not pity, nor spare, nor have I mercy, so as not to destroy them. Hear, and give ear, be not haughty, for Jehovah hath spoken.
Give ye to Jehovah your God honor, before he doth cause darkness, and before your feet stumble on dark mountains, and ye have waited for light, and he hath made it for death shade, and hath appointed it for thick darkness. And if ye do not hear it, in secret places doth my soul weep, because of pride, yea, it weepeth sore, and the tear cometh down mine eyes, for the flock of Jehovah hath been taken captive. Say to the king and to the mistress, Make yourselves low, sit still, for come down have your principalities, the crown of your beauty. The cities of the south have been shut up, and there is none opening, Judah hath been removed, all of her, she hath been removed completely. Lift up your eyes, and see those coming in from the north, where, is, the drove given to thee, thy beautiful flock. What dost thou say, when he looketh after thee? And thou, thou hast taught them, to be, over thee leaders for head? Do not pang seize thee as a traveling woman? And when thou dost say in thy heart, Wherefore have these met me? For the abundance of thine iniquity have thy skirts been uncovered, have thy heels suffered violence. Doth a Cushite change his skin? And a leopard his spots? Ye also are able to do good, who are accustomed to do evil. And I scatter them as stubble, passing away, by a wind of the wilderness. This is thy lot, the portion of thy measures from me and affirmation of Jehovah, because thou hast forgotten me, and dost trust in falsehood. I also have made bare thy skirts before thy face, and thy shame hath been seen. Thine adulteries, and thy names, the wickedness of thy whoredom, on heights in a field, I have seen thine abominations. What to thee, O Jerusalem, thou art not cleansed, after when, is it, again? Jeremiah chapter 14 That which hath been the word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah concerning the matters of the dearths. Mourned hath Judah, and her gates have languished, they have mourned to the earth, and the cry of Jerusalem hath gone up. And their honorable ones have sent their little ones to the water, they have come unto ditches, they have not found water, they have turned back, their vessels empty. They have been ashamed, and have blushed and covered their head. Because the ground hath been broken, for there hath been no rain in the land, ashamed have been husbandmen, they have covered their head. For even the hind in the field hath brought forth, to forsake, it. For there hath been no grass. And wild asses have stood on high places, they have swallowed up wind like dragons, consumed have been their eyes, for there is no herb. Surely our iniquities have testified against us, O Jehovah, work for thy name's sake, for many have been our backslidings, against thee we have sinned. O hope of Israel, its Savior in time of trouble, why art thou as a sojourner in the land? And as a traveler turned aside to lodge? Why art thou as one dumb? As a mighty one not able to save? And thou, art, in our midst, O Jehovah, and thy name over us is called, Leave us not. Thus said Jehovah concerning this people, Well they have loved to wander, their feet they have not restrained, and Jehovah hath not accepted them, now doth he remember their iniquity, and inspect their sin. And Jehovah saith unto me, Thou dost not pray for this people for good. When they fast, I hearken not unto their cry, and when they cause to ascend burnt offering and present, I accept them not, for by sword, and by famine, and by pestilence, I am consuming them. And I say, Ah, Lord Jehovah, lo, the prophets are saying to them, Ye do not see a sword, yea, famine is not to you, for true peace I give to you in this place. And Jehovah saith unto me, Falsehood the prophets are prophesying in my name, I did not send them, nor command them, nor have I spoken unto them, a false vision, and divination, and vanity, and the deceit of their own heart, they are prophesying to you. Therefore, 
Thus said Jehovah concerning the prophets who are prophesying in my name, and I have not sent them, and they are saying, Sword and famine is not in this land, by sword and by famine are these prophets consumed. And the people to whom they are prophesying, are cast into out places of Jerusalem, because of the famine, and of the sword, and they have none burying them, them, their wives, and their sons, and their daughters, and I have poured out upon them this evil. And thou hast said unto them this word, Tears come down mine eyes night and day, and they do not cease, for, with, a great breach, broken hath been the virgin daughter of my people, a very grievous stroke. If I have gone forth to the field, then, lo, the pierced of the sword. And if I have entered the city, then, lo, the diseased of famine. For both prophet and priest have gone up and down unto a land that they knew not. Hast thou utterly rejected Judah? Zion hath thy soul loathed? Wherefore hast thou smitten us, and there is no healing to us? Looking for peace, and there is no good, and for a time of healing, and lo, terror. We have known, O Jehovah, our wickedness, the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against thee. Do not despise, for thy name's sake, dishonor not the throne of thine honor, remember, break not thy covenant with us. Are there among the vanities of the nations any causing rain? And do the heavens give showers? Art not thou he, O Jehovah our God? And we wait for thee, for thou, thou hast done all these. Jeremiah chapter 15 And Jehovah saith unto me, Though Moses and Samuel should stand before me, my soul is not toward this people, send from before my face, and they go out. And it hath come to pass, when they say to thee, Whither do we go out? That thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah, Those who are for death to death, and those who are for the sword to the sword, and those who are for famine, to famine, and those who are for captivity, to captivity. And I have appointed over them four kinds, an affirmation of Jehovah, the sword to slay, and the dogs to drag, and the fowl of the heavens, and the beast of the earth, to consume and to devour. And I have given them for a trembling to all kingdoms of the earth, because of Manasseh son of Hezekiah king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. For who hath pity on thee, O Jerusalem? And who doth bemoan for thee? And who turneth aside to ask of thy welfare? Thou, thou hast left me an affirmation of Jehovah, backward thou goest, and I stretch out my hand against thee, and I destroy thee, I have been weary of repenting. And I scatter them with a fan, in the gates the land, I bereaved, I have destroyed my people from their ways they turned not back. Its widows have been more to me than the sand of the seas, I brought into them, against the mother, a young man, a spoiler, at noon. I caused to fall upon her suddenly, wrath and trouble. Languished hath the bearer of seven, she hath breathed out her spirit, gone and hath her son while yet day, it hath been ashamed and confounded and their residue to the sword I give up before their enemies, an affirmation of Jehovah. What to me, my mother, for thou hast borne me a man of strife, and a man of contention to all the land, I have not lent on usury, nor have they lent on usury to me, all of them are reviling me. Jehovah said, Did I not direct thee for good? Did not I intercede for thee in a time of evil, and in a time of adversity, with the enemy? Doth one break iron, northern iron, and brass? Thy strength and thy treasures for a prey I do give not for price, even for all thy sins, and in all thy borders. And I have caused thine enemies to pass over into the land, thou hast not known, for a fire hath been kindled in mine anger, against you it doth burn. Thou, thou hast known, O Jehovah, remember me, and inspect me, and take vengeance for me of my pursuers, in thy long suffering take me not away, no, 
I have borne for thee reproach. Thy words have been found, and I eat them, and thy word is to me for a joy, and for the rejoicing of my heart, for thy name is called on me, O Jehovah, God of hosts. I have not sat in an assembly of deriders, nor do I exult, because of thy hand, alone I have sat, for with indignation thou hast filled me. Why hath my pain been perpetual? And my wound incurable? It hath refused to be healed, thou art surely to me as a failing stream, waters not steadfast. Therefore, thus said Jehovah, if thou turnest back, then I bring thee back, before me thou dost stand, and if thou bringest out the precious from the vile, as my mouth thou art. They, they turn back unto thee, and thou dost not turn back unto them. And I have made thee to this people for a wall, brazen, fenced, and they have fought against thee, and they do not prevail against thee, for with thee, am, I to save thee, and to deliver thee an affirmation of Jehovah. And I have delivered thee from the hand of evil doers, and I have ransomed thee from the hand of the terrible. Jeremiah chapter 16 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Thou dost not take to thee a wife, nor hast thou sons and daughters in this place. For thus said Jehovah, of the sons and of the daughters who are born in this place, and of their mothers, those bearing them, and of their fathers, those begetting them in this land. Of painful deaths they die, they are not lamented, nor are they buried, for dung on the face of the ground they are, and by sword and by famine are consumed and their carcass hath been for food to the fowl of the heavens, and to the beast of the earth. For thus said Jehovah, Do not enter the house of a morning feast, nor go to lament nor bemoan for them, for I have removed my peace from this people, an affirmation of Jehovah, the kindness and the mercies. And died of great and small in this land, they are not buried, and none lament for them, nor doth any cut himself, nor become bald for them. Nor do they deal out to them for mourning, to comfort him concerning the dead, nor cause them to drink a cup of consolations for his father and for his mother. A house of banqueting thou dost not enter, to sit with them, to eat and to drink. For thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am causing to cease from this place, before your eyes, and in your days, the voice of joy, and the voice of rejoicing, the voice of bridegroom and voice of bride. And it hath come to pass when thou declarest to this people all these words, and they have said unto thee, For what hath Jehovah spoken against us all this great evil? Yea, what is our iniquity, and what our sin, that we have sinned against Jehovah our God? Then thou hast said unto them, because that your fathers have forsaken me, an affirmation of Jehovah, and go after other gods, and serve them, and they bow themselves to them, and me have forsaken, and my law not kept. Ye also have done evil above your fathers, and lo, ye are walking each after the stubbornness of his evil heart, so as not to hearken unto me. And I have cast you from off this land, onto a land that ye have not known, ye and your fathers, and ye have served their other gods by day and by night, where I do not give to you grace. Therefore, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and it is not said any more, Jehovah liveth, who brought up the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But, Jehovah liveth, who brought up the sons of Israel out of the land of the north, and out of all the lands whither he drove them, and I have brought them back to their land, that I gave to their fathers. Lo, I am sending for many fishers, an affirmation of Jehovah, and they have fished them, and after this I send for many hunters, and they have hunted them from off every mountain, and from off every hill, and from holes of the rocks. For mine eyes, are, upon all their ways, they have not been hidden from my face, nor hath their iniquity been concealed from before mine eyes. And I have recompensed a first, a second time, their iniquity and their sin, because of their polluting my land, 
with the carcass of their detestable things, yeah, their abominable things have filled mine inheritance. O Jehovah, my strength, and my fortress, and my refuge in a day of adversity, unto thee nations do come from the ends of earth, and say, only falsehood did our fathers inherit, vanity, and none among them is profitable. Doth man make for himself gods, and they know gods? Therefore, lo, I am causing them to know at this time, I cause them to know my hand and my might, and they have known that my name is Jehovah. Jeremiah chapter 17 The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron, with the point of a diamond, graven on the tablet of their heart, and on the horns of your altars. As their sons remember their altars and their shrines, by the green tree, by the high hills. O oh, my mountain in the field, thy strength, all thy treasures, for a prey I give, thy high places for sin in all thy borders. And thou hast let go, even through thyself, of thine inheritance that I gave to thee, and I have caused thee to serve thine enemies, in a land that thou hast not known, for a fire ye have kindled in mine anger, unto the age it doth burn. Thus said Jehovah, Cursed, is, the man who doth trust in man, and hath made flesh his arm, and from Jehovah whose heart turneth. And he hath been as a naked thing in a desert, and doth not see when good cometh, and hath inhabited parched places in a wilderness, a salt land, and not inhabited. Blessed, is, the man who trusteth in Jehovah, and whose confidence hath been Jehovah and hath been as a tree planted by waters, and by a rivulet he sendeth forth his roots, and he doth not see when he cometh, and his leaf hath been green, and in a year of dearth he is not sorrowful, nor doth he cease from making fruit. Crooked, is, the heart above all things, and it, is, incurable, who doth know it? I Jehovah do search the heart, try the reins, even to give to each according to his way according to the fruit of his doings. A partridge hatching, and not bringing forth, is, one making wealth, and not by right, in the midst of his days he doth forsake it, and in his latter end he is a fool. A throne of honor on high from the beginning, the place of our sanctuary. The hope of Israel, is, Jehovah, all forsaking thee are ashamed, and my apostates in the earth are written, for they have forsaken Jehovah, a fountain of living waters. Heal me, O Jehovah, and I am healed, save me, and I am saved, for my praise, art thou. Lo, they are saying unto me, Where, is, the word of Jehovah? Pray, let it come. And I hastened not from feeding after thee, and the desperate day I have not desired, thou, thou hast known, the produce of my lips, before thy face it hath been. Be not thou to me for a terror, my hope, art, thou in a day of evil. Let my pursuers be ashamed, and let not me be ashamed, me. Let them be affrighted, and let not me be affrighted, me. Bring in on them a day of evil, and a second time, with destruction destroy them. Thus said Jehovah unto me, Go, and thou hast stood in the gate of the sons of the people, by which kings of Judah come in, and by which they go out, and in all gates of Jerusalem. And thou hast said unto them, Hear a word of Jehovah, ye kings of Judah, and all Judah, and all inhabitants of Jerusalem, who are coming in by these gates. Thus said Jehovah, Take ye heed to yourselves, and ye bear not a burden on the day of rest nor have ye brought, it, in by the gates of Jerusalem. Nor do ye take out a burden from your houses on the day of rest, yea, any work ye do not do, and ye have sanctified the day of rest, as I have commanded your fathers. And they have not hearkened nor inclined their ear, and they stiffen their neck not to hear, and not to receive instruction. And it hath been, if ye certainly hearken unto me, an affirmation of Jehovah, so as not to bring in a burden by the gates of this city on the day of rest, and to sanctify the day of rest, 
so as not to do in it any work. Then entered by the gates of this city have kings and princes, sitting on the throne of David, riding in a chariot, and on horses, they, and their princes, the man of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem, and this city hath remained to the age. And they have come in from cities of Judah, and from suburbs of Jerusalem, and from the land of Benjamin, and from the low country, and from the hill country, and from the south, bringing in burnt offering, and sacrifice, and present, and frankincense, and bringing praise, to, the house of Jehovah. And if ye do not hearken unto me to sanctify the day of rest, and so as not to bear a burden, and to come in at the gates of Jerusalem on the day of rest, then I have kindled a fire in its gates, and it hath consumed the high places of Jerusalem, and it is not quenched. Jeremiah chapter 18 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Rise, and thou hast gone down, to, the potter's house, and there I cause thee to hear my words. And I go down, to, the potter's house, and lo, he is doing a work on the stones. And marred is the vessel that he is making, as clay in the hand of the potter, and he hath turned and he mocketh at another vessel, as it was right in the eyes of the potter to make. And there is a word of Jehovah to me, saying, As this potter am I not able to do to you? O house of Israel, an affirmation of Jehovah. Lo, as clay in the hand of the potter, so, are, ye in my hand, O house of Israel. The moment I speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to pluck up and to break down, and to destroy. And that nation hath turned from its evil, because I have spoken against it, then I have repented of the evil that I thought to do to it. And the moment I speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to build, and to plant. And it hath done the evil thing in mine eyes, so as not to hearken to my voice, then I have repented of the good that I have spoken of doing to it. And now, speak, I pray thee, unto men of Judah, and against inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am framing against you evil, and devising against you a device, turn back, I pray you, each from his evil way and amen your ways and your doings. And they have said, It is incurable, for after our own devices we do go, and each the stubbornness of his evil heart we do. Therefore, thus said Jehovah, Ask, I pray you, among the nations, who hath heard like these? A very horrible thing hath the virgin of Israel done. Doth snow of Lebanon cease from the rock of the field? Failed are the cold strange waters that flow? But my people have forgotten me, to a vain thing they make perfume, and they cause them to stumble in their ways, paths of old, to walk in paths, a way not raised up. To make their land become a desolation, a hissing age during, every passer by it is astonished, and bemoaneth with his head. As an east wind I scatter them before an enemy, the neck, and not the face, I shew them, in the day of their calamity. And they say, Come, and we devise against Jeremiah devices, for law doth not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet, Come, and we smite him with the tongue, and we do not attend to any of his words. Give attention, O Jehovah, unto me, and hearken to the voice of those contending with me. Is evil recompensed instead of good, that they have dug a pit for my soul? Remember my standing before thee to speak good of them, to turn back thy wrath from them. Therefore, give up their sons to famine, and cause them to run on the sides of the sword, and their wives are bereaved and widows, and their men are slain by death, their young men smitten by sword in battle. A cry is heard from their houses, for thou bringest against them suddenly a troop, for they dug a pit to capture me, and snares they have hidden for my feet. And thou, O Jehovah, thou hast known, all their counsel against me, is, for death, 
Thou dost not cover over their iniquity, nor their sin from before thee blottest out, and they are made to stumble before thee, in the time of thine anger work against them. Jeremiah chapter 19 Thus said Jehovah, Go, and thou hast got a potter's earthen vessel, and of the elders of the people, and of the elders of the priests. And thou hast gone forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom, that, is, at the opening of the gate of the pottery, and hast proclaimed there the words that I speak unto thee. And hast said, Hear a word of Jehovah, ye kings of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem, thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am bringing an evil on this place, at which the ears of every one who is hearing it do tingle. Because that they have forsaken me, and make known this place, and make perfume in it to other gods, that they knew not, they and their fathers, and the kings of Judah, and they have filled this place, with, innocent blood. And have built the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire, burnt offerings to Baal, that I commanded not, nor spake of, nor did it come up on my heart. Therefore, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and this place is not called any more, Tophet, and Valley of the Son of Hinnom, but, Valley of Slaughter. And I have made void the counsel of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and have caused them to fall by the sword before their enemies, and by the hand of those seeking their life, and I have given their carcass for food to the fowl of the heavens, and to the beast of the earth. And I have made this city for a desolation, and for a hissing, every passer by it is astonished, and doth hiss for all its plagues. And I have caused them to eat the flesh of their sons, and the flesh of their daughters, and each the flesh of his friend they do eat, in the siege and in the straightness with which straighten them do their enemies, and those seeking their life. And thou hast broken the bottle before the eyes of the men who are going with thee. And hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Thus do I break this people and this city, as one breaketh the potter's vessel, that is not able to be repaired again, and in Tophet they bury, without place to bury. So I do to this place an affirmation of Jehovah and to its inhabitants, so as to make this city as Tophet. And the houses of Jerusalem, and the houses of the kings of Judah, have been, as the place of Tophet, defiled, even all the houses on whose roofs they have made perfume to all the host of the heavens, so as to pour out oblations to other gods. And Jeremiah cometh in from Tophet, whither Jehovah had sent him to prophesy, and he standeth in the court of the house of Jehovah, and he saith unto all the people. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am bringing in unto this city, and on all its cities, all the evil that I have spoken against it, for they have hardened their neck not to hear my words. Jeremiah chapter 20 And Pashur son of Immer the priest who also, is, overseer, leader in the house of Jehovah, heareth Jeremiah prophesying these things. And Pashur smitteth Jeremiah the prophet, and putteth him unto the stocks, that, are, by the high gate of Benjamin, that, is, by the house of Jehovah. And it cometh to pass on the morrow, that Pashur bringeth out Jeremiah from the stocks, and Jeremiah saith unto him, Not Pashur hath Jehovah called thy name, but Magar Masabib. For thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am making thee for a fear to thyself, and to all loving thee, and they have fallen by the sword of their enemies, and thine eyes are beholding, and all Judah I give into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he hath removed them to Babylon, and he hath smitten them with the sword. And I have given all the strength of this city, and all its labor, and all its precious things, yea, all the treasures of the kings of Judah I do give into the hand of their enemies, and they have spoiled them, and taken them, and have brought them into Babylon. And thou, Pashur, and all dwelling in thy house, do go into captivity. And Babylon thou dost enter, and there thou deest, and there thou art buried, thou and all loving thee, to whom thou hast prophesied falsely. 
Thou hast persuaded me, O Jehovah, and I am persuaded, thou hast hardened me, and dost prevail, I have been for a laughter all the day, every one is mocking at me. Because from the time I speak I cry out, violence and destruction, I cry, for the word of Jehovah hath been to me for reproach and for derision all the day. And I said, I do not mention him, nor do I speak any more in his name, and it hath been in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I have been weary of containing, and I am not able. For I have heard the evil report of many, fear, is, roundabout, declare, and we declare it, all mine allies are watching, for, my halting, perhaps he is enticed, and we prevail over him, and we take our vengeance out of him. And Jehovah, is, with me, as a terrible mighty one, therefore my persecutors stumble and prevail not, they have been exceedingly ashamed, for they have not acted wisely, confusion age during is not forgotten. And, O Jehovah of hosts, trier of the righteous, beholder of reins and heart, I do see thy vengeance out of them, for unto thee I have revealed my cause. Sing ye to Jehovah, praise Jehovah, for he hath delivered the soul of the needy from the hand of evil doers. Cursed, is, the day in which I was born, the day that my mother bare me, let it not be blessed. Cursed, is, the man who bore tidings, to, my father, saying, Born to thee hath been a child, a male, making him very glad. Then hath that man been as the cities, that Jehovah overthrew, and repented not, and he hath heard a cry at morning, and a shout at time of noon. Because he hath not put me to death from the womb, and my mother is to me my grave, and her womb a pregnancy age during. Why, is, this? From the womb I have come out, to see labor and sorrow, yea, consumed in shame are my days. Jeremiah chapter 21 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, in the king Zedekiah's sending unto him Pashur son of Malchiah, and Zephaniah son of Messiah the priest, saying, Inquire, we pray thee, for us at Jehovah, for Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon hath fought against us. Perhaps Jehovah doth deal with us according to all his wonders, and doth cause him to go up from off us. And Jeremiah saith unto them, Thus do ye say unto Zedekiah. Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, Lo, I am turning round the weapons of battle that, are, in your hand, with which ye do fight the king of Babylon, and the Chaldeans, who are laying siege against you, at the outside of the wall and I have gathered them into the midst of this city. And I, I have fought against you, with a stretched out hand, and with a strong arm, and in anger, and in fury, and in great wrath. And I have smitten the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast, by a great pestilence do they die. And after this an affirmation of Jehovah, I give Zedekiah king of Judah, and his servants, and the people, and those left in this city, from the pestilence, from the sword, and from the famine, into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those seeking their life, and he hath smitten them by the mouth of the sword, he hath no pity on them, nor doth he spare, nor hath he mercy. And unto this people thou dost say, Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am setting before you the way of life, and the way of death. Whoso is abiding in this city dieth, by sword, and by famine, and by pestilence, and whoso is going forth, and hath fallen unto the Chaldeans, who are laying siege against you, liveth, and his life hath been to him for a spoil. For I have set my face against this city for evil, and not for good, an affirmation of Jehovah. Into the hand of the king of Babylon it is given, and he hath burned it with fire. And as to the house of the king of Judah, hear ye a word of Jehovah. O house of David, thus said Jehovah, decide ye judgment at morning, and deliver the plundered from the hand of the oppressor, lest my fury go forth as fire, and hath burned, 
and none is quenching, because of the evil of your doings. Lo, I am, against thee an affirmation of Jehovah, O inhabitant of the valley, rock of the plain, who are saying, Who cometh down against us? And who cometh into our habitations? And I have laid a charge against you according to the fruit of your doings, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have kindled a fire in its forest, and it hath consumed all its suburbs. Jeremiah chapter 22 Thus said Jehovah, Go down, to, the house of the king of Judah, and thou hast spoken there this word, and hast said. Hear a word of Jehovah, O king of Judah, who art sitting on the throne of David, thou, and thy servants, and thy people, who are coming in at these gates. Thus said Jehovah, Do ye judgment and righteousness, and deliver the plundered from the hand of the oppressor, and sojourner, orphan, and widow, ye do not oppress nor wrong, and innocent blood ye do not shed in this place. For, if ye certainly do this thing, then come in by the gates of this house have kings sitting for David on his throne, riding on chariot, and on horses, he, and his servants, and his people. And if ye do not hear these words, by myself I have sworn an affirmation of Jehovah, that this house is for a desolation. For thus said Jehovah, concerning the house of the king of Judah, Gilead, art, thou to me, head of Lebanon, if not, I make thee a wilderness, cities not inhabited. And I have separated for thee destroyers, each with his weapons, and they have cut down the choice of thy cedars, and have cast them on the fire. And many nations have passed by this city, and they have said, each to his neighbor, For what hath Jehovah done thus to this great city? And they have said, Because that they have forsaken the covenant of Jehovah their God and bow themselves to other gods, and serve them. Ye do not weep for the dead, nor bemoan for him, weep ye sore for the traveller, for he doth not return again, nor hath he seen the land of his birth. For thus said Jehovah concerning Shalom son of Josiah king of Judah, who is reigning instead of Josiah his father, who hath gone forth from this place, he doth not turn back hither again. For in the place whither they have removed him he dieth, and this land he doth not see again. What to him who is building his house by unrighteousness, and his upper chambers by injustice, on his neighbor he layeth service for naught, and his wage he doth not give to him. Who is saying, I build for myself a large house, and airy upper chambers, and he hath cut out for himself its windows, sealed with cedar, and painted with vermilion. Dost thou reign, because thou art fretting thyself in cedar? Thy father, did he not eat and drink? Yeah, he did judgment and righteousness, then, it is, well with him. He decided the cause of the poor and needy, then, it is, well, is it not to know me? An affirmation of Jehovah. But thine eyes and thy heart are not, except on thy dishonest gain, and on shedding of innocent blood, and on oppression, and on doing of violence. Therefore, thus said Jehovah concerning Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah, they do not lament for him, ah, my brother, and ah, sister, they do not lament for him, ah, Lord, and ah, his honor. The burial of an ass, he is buried, dragged, and cast out thence to the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon, and cry, and in Bashan give forth thy voice, and cry from Abram, for destroyed have been all loving thee. I have spoken unto thee in thine ease, thou hast said, I do not hearken, this, is, thy way from thy youth, for thou hast not hearkened to my voice. All thy friends consume doth wind, and thy lovers into captivity do go, surely then thou art ashamed and hast blushed for all thy wickedness. O dweller in Lebanon, making a nest among cedars, how gracious hast thou been when pangs come to thee, pain, as of a traveling woman. I live, an affirmation of Jehovah, though Konia son of Jehoiakim king of Judah were a seal on my right hand, 
surely thence I draw thee away. And I have given thee into the hand of those seeking thy life, and into hands of which thou art afraid, into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I have cast thee, and thy mother who bore thee, unto another country, where ye were not born, and there do ye die. And to the land whither they are lifting up their soul to return, thither they do not return. A grief a despised broken thing is this man Konia? A vessel in which there is no pleasure? Wherefore have they been cast up and down, he and his seed, yea, they were cast on to a land that they knew not? Earth, 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 hear a word of Jehovah. Thus said Jehovah, Write ye this man childless, a man, he doth not prosper in his days, for none of his seed doth prosper, sitting on the throne of David, and ruling again in Judah. Jeremiah chapter 23 What to shepherds destroying, and scattering the flock of my pasture, an affirmation of Jehovah. Therefore, thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, against the shepherds who feed my people, Ye have scattered my flock, and drive them away, and have not inspected them, lo, I am charging on you the evil of your doings, an affirmation of Jehovah. And I do gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands whither I drove them, and have brought them back unto their fold, and they have been fruitful, and multiplied. And I have raised for them shepherds, and they have fed them, and they fear no more, nor are affrighted nor are they lacking an affirmation of Jehovah. Lo, days are coming an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have raised to David a righteous shoot, and a king hath reigned and acted wisely, and done judgment and righteousness in the earth. In his days is Judah saved, and Israel dwelleth confidently, and this is name that Jehovah proclaimeth him, our righteousness. Therefore, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and they do not say any more, Jehovah liveth who brought up the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But, Jehovah liveth, who brought up, and who brought in, the seed of the house of Israel, from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither I drove them, and they have dwelt on their own ground. In reference to the prophets, broken hath been my heart in my midst, fluttered have all my bones, I have been as a man, a drunkard, and as a man, wine hath passed over him, because of Jehovah, and of his holy words. For of adulterers hath the land been full, for because of these hath the land mourned, dried up hath been the pleasant places of the wilderness, and their course is evil, and their might, not right. For both prophet and priest have been profane, yea, in my house I found their wickedness, an affirmation of Jehovah. Therefore is their way to them as slippery places, into thick darkness they are driven, and they have fallen in it, for I bring in against them evil, the year of their inspection, an affirmation of Jehovah. And in prophets of Samaria I have seen folly, they have prophesied by Baal, and cause my people, Israel, to err. And in prophets of Jerusalem I have seen a horrible thing, committing adultery, and walking falsely, yea, they strengthened the hands of evil doers, so that they have not turned back each from his wickedness, they have been to me, all of them as Sodom, and its inhabitants as Gomorrah. Therefore, thus said Jehovah of hosts, concerning the prophets, Lo, I am causing them to eat wormwood, and have caused them to drink water of gall, for, from prophets of Jerusalem hath profanity gone forth to all the land. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Ye do not hearken unto the words of the prophets who are prophesying to you, they are making you vain things, a vision of their own heart they speak, not from the mouth of Jehovah. Saying diligently to those despising the word of Jehovah, Peace is for you, and, to, every one walking in the stubbornness of his heart they have said, Evil doth not come in unto you. For who hath stood in the counsel of Jehovah, and seeth and heareth his word? Who hath regarded my word, and hearkeneth? Lo, a whirlwind of Jehovah, fury hath gone out, even a piercing whirlwind, 
on the head of the wicked it stayeth. The anger of Jehovah doth not turn back till his doing, and till his establishing, the thoughts of his heart, in the latter end of the days ye attend to it with understanding. I have not sent the prophets, and they have run, I have not spoken unto them, and they have prophesied. But, if they stood in my counsel, then they caused my people to hear my words, and they turned them back from their evil way, and from the evil of their doings. A God near, am, I, an affirmation of Jehovah, and not a God afar off? Is any one hidden in secret places, and I see him not? An affirmation of Jehovah, do not I fill the heavens and the earth? An affirmation of Jehovah. I have heard that which the prophet said, who prophesy in my name falsehood, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Till when is it in the heart of the prophets? The prophets of falsehood, yeah, prophets of the deceit of their heart. Who are devising to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, that they recount each to his neighbor, as their fathers forgot my name for Baal. The prophet with whom, is, a dream, let him recount the dream, and he with whom, is, my word, let him truly speak my word. What to the straw with the corn? An affirmation of Jehovah. Is it not thus? My word, is, as a fire, an affirmation of Jehovah. And as a hammer, it breaketh in pieces a rock. Therefore, lo, I, am, against the prophets, an affirmation of Jehovah, stealing my words each from his neighbor. Lo, I, am, against the prophets, an affirmation of Jehovah, who are making smooth their tongue, and they affirm an affirmation. Lo, I, am, against the prophets of false dreams, an affirmation of Jehovah, and they recount them, and cause my people to err, by their falsehoods, and by their instability, and I, I have not sent them, nor have I commanded them, and they are not at all profitable to this people, an affirmation of Jehovah. And when this people, or the prophet, or a priest, doth ask thee, saying, What, is, the burden of Jehovah? Then thou hast said unto them, Ye, are, the burden, and I have left you, an affirmation of Jehovah. And the prophet, and the priest, and the people, that saith, the burden of Jehovah, I have seen after that man, and after his house. Thus do ye say each unto his neighbor, and each unto his brother, What hath Jehovah answered? And what hath Jehovah spoken? And the burden of Jehovah ye do not mention any more, for the burden to each is, his word, and ye have overturned the words of the living God, Jehovah of hosts, our God. Thus dost thou say unto the prophet what hath Jehovah answered thee? And what hath Jehovah spoken? And if the burden of Jehovah ye say, therefore thus said Jehovah, because of your saying this word, the burden of Jehovah, and I do send unto you, saying, ye do not say, the burden of Jehovah. Therefore, lo, I, I have taken you utterly away, and I have sent you out, and the city that I gave to you, and to your fathers, from before my face. And I have put on you reproach age during, and shame age during that is not forgotten. Jeremiah chapter 24 Jehovah hath shewed me, and lo, two baskets of figs, appointed before the temple of Jehovah, after the removing by Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, of Jeconiah, son of Jehoiakim king of Judah, and the heads of Judah, and the artisan, and the smith, from Jerusalem, when he bringeth them into Babylon. In the one basket, are, figs very good, like the first ripe figs, and in the other basket, are, figs very bad, that are not eaten for badness. And Jehovah saith unto me, What art thou seeing, Jeremiah? And I say, Figs, the good figs, are, very good, and the bad, are, very bad, that are not eaten for badness. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, 
like these good figs so do I acknowledge the removed of Judah, that I sent from this place, to, the land of the Chaldeans, for good. And I have set mine eyes on them for good, and have brought them back to this land, and built them up, and I throw not down, and have planted them, and pluck not up. And have given to them a heart to know me, for I am Jehovah, and they have been to me for a people, and I am to them for God, for they turned back unto me with all their heart. And like the bad figs, that are not eaten for badness, surely thus said Jehovah, so do I make Zedekiah king of Judah, and his heads, and the remnant of Jerusalem, who are left in this land, and who are dwelling in the land of Egypt. And I have given them for a trembling, for evil to all kingdoms of the earth, for a reproach, and for a simile, for a byword, and for a reviling, in all the places whither I drive them. And I have sent against them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, till their consumption from off the ground, that I gave to them and to their fathers. Jeremiah chapter 25 the word that hath been unto Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah, it is the first year of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon. Which Jeremiah the prophet hath spoken concerning all the people of Judah, even unto all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Josiah son of Ammon king of Judah, and unto this day, this three and twentieth year, hath the word of Jehovah been unto me, and I speak unto you, rising early and speaking, and ye have not hearkened. And Jehovah hath sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending, and ye have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear, saying, Turn back, I pray you, each from his evil way, and from the evil of your doings and dwell on the ground that Jehovah hath given to you and to your fathers from age unto age. And ye do not go after other gods to serve them, and to bow yourselves to them, nor do ye provoke me to anger with the work of your hands, and I do no evil to you. And ye have not hearkened unto me an affirmation of Jehovah so as to provoke me to anger with the work of your hands for evil to you. Therefore thus said Jehovah of hosts, because that ye have not obeyed my words. Lo, I am sending, and have taken all the families of the north, an affirmation of Jehovah, even unto Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, my servant, and have brought them in against this land, and against its inhabitants, and against all these nations round about, and have devoted them, and appointed them for an astonishment, and for a hissing, and for wastes age during. And I have destroyed from them the voice of rejoicing, and the voice of joy, voice of bridegroom and voice of bride, noise of millstones, and the light of lamb song. And all this land hath been for a waste, for an astonishment, and these nations have served the king of Babylon seventy years. And it hath come to pass, at the fullness of seventy years, I charge against the king of Babylon, and against that nation an affirmation of Jehovah, their iniquity, and against the land of the Chaldeans, and have appointed it for desolation's age during. And I have brought in on that land all my words that I have spoken against it, all that is written in this book, that Jeremiah hath prophesied concerning all the nations. For laid service on them also them have many nations and great kings, and I have given recompense to them according to their doing and according to the work of their hands. For thus said Jehovah God of Israel unto me, Take the wine cup of this fury out of my hand, and thou hast caused all the nations to drink it unto whom I am sending thee. And they have drunk, and shaken themselves and shown themselves foolish, because of the sword that I am sending among them. And I take the cup out of the hand of Jehovah, and cause all the nations to drink unto whom Jehovah sent me. Jerusalem, and the cities of Judah, and its kings, its heads, to give them to waste, to astonishment, to hissing, and to reviling, as, at, this day. Pharaoh king of Egypt, and his servants, and his heads, and all his people. And all the mixed people, 
and all the kings of the land of Uz, and all the kings of the land of the Philistines, and Ashkelon, and Gatza, and Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod. Edom, and Moab, and the sons of Ammon. And all the kings of Tyre, and all the kings of Zidon, and the kings of the isle that, is, beyond the sea. Dedan, and Tima, and Buzz, and all cutting the corners, of the beard. And all the kings of Arabia, and all the kings of the mixed people, who are dwelling in the wilderness. And all the kings of Zimri, and all the kings of Elam, and all the kings of Media. And all the kings of the north, the near and the far off, one unto another, and all the kingdoms of the earth, that, are, on the face of the ground, and King Shishak drinketh after them. And thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah of hosts God of Israel, Drink ye, ye drink abundantly, and vomit, and fall, and rise not, because of the sword that I am sending among you. And it hath come to pass, when they refuse to receive the cup out of thy hand to drink, that thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Ye do certainly drink. For lo, in the city over which my name is called, I am beginning to do evil, and ye, ye are entirely acquitted. Ye are not acquitted, for a sword I am proclaiming, for all inhabitants of the land, an affirmation of Jehovah of hosts. And thou, thou dost prophesy unto them all these words, and hast said unto them, Jehovah from the high place doth roar, and from his holy habitation giveth forth his voice, he surely roareth for his habitation, a shout as of treaders down, God answereth all the inhabitants of the land. Wasting hath come unto the end of the earth, for a controversy hath Jehovah with nations, he hath executed judgment for all flesh, the wicked. He hath given them to the sword, an affirmation of Jehovah. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Lo, evil is going out from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind is stirred up from the sides of the earth. And the pierced of Jehovah have been in that day, from the end of the earth even unto the end of the earth, they are not lamented, nor gathered, nor buried, for dung on the face of the ground they are. Howl, ye shepherds, and cry, and roll yourselves, ye honorable of the flock, for full have been your days, for slaughtering, and, for, your scatterings, and ye have fallen as a desirable vessel. And perished hath refuge from the shepherds, and escape from the honorable of the flock. A voice, is, of the cry of the shepherds, and a howling of the honorable of the flock, for Jehovah is spoiling their pasture. And the peaceable habitations have been cut down, because of the fierceness of the anger of Jehovah. He hath forsaken, as a young lion, his covert, surely their land hath become a desolation, because of the oppressing fierceness, and because of the fierceness of his anger. Jeremiah chapter 26 In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim son of Josiah, king of Judah, hath this word been from Jehovah, saying, Thus said Jehovah, Stand thou in the court of the house of Jehovah, and thou hast spoken unto all, those of, the cities of Judah who are coming in to bow themselves in the house of Jehovah, all the words that I have commanded thee to speak unto them, thou dost not diminish a word. If so be they hearken, and turn back each from his evil way, then I have repented concerning the evil that I am thinking of doing to them, because of the evil of their doings. And thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah, If ye do not hearken unto me, to walk in my law, that I set before you. To hearken to the words of my servants the prophets, whom I am sending unto you, yea, rising early and sending, and ye have not hearkened. Then I have given up this house as Shiloh, and this city I give up for a reviling to all nations of the earth. And the priests, and the prophets, and all the people, hear Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of Jehovah. And it cometh to pass, at the completion of Jeremiah speaking all that Jehovah hath commanded him to speak unto all the people, that the priests, 
and the prophets, and all the people catch him, saying, Thou dost surely die. Wherefore hast thou prophesied in the name of Jehovah, saying, As Shiloh this house shall be, and this city is wasted, without inhabitant, and all the people are assembled unto Jeremiah in the house of Jehovah. And the heads of Judah hear these things, and they go up from the house of the king, to, the house of Jehovah, and sit in the opening of the new gate of Jehovah. And the priests and the prophets speak unto the heads, and unto all the people, saying, Judgment of death, is, for this man, for he hath prophesied against this city, as ye have heard with your ears. And Jeremiah speaketh unto all the heads, and unto all the people, saying, Jehovah sent me to prophesy concerning this house, and concerning this city, all the words that ye have heard. And now, amend your ways, and your doings, and hearken to the voice of Jehovah your God, and Jehovah doth repent concerning the evil that he hath spoken against you. And I, lo, I, am, in your hand, do to me as is good and as is right in your eyes. Only, know ye certainly, that if ye are putting me to death, surely innocent blood ye are putting on yourselves, and on this city, and on its inhabitants, for truly hath Jehovah sent me unto you to speak in your ears all these words. And the heads and all the people say unto the priests and unto the prophets, There is not for this man a judgment of death, for in the name of Jehovah our God he hath spoken unto us. And certain of the elders of the land rise up, and speak unto all the assembly of the people, saying, Micah the Morishtite hath been prophesying in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah, and he saith unto all the people of Judah, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Zion is a ploughed field, and Jerusalem is heaps, and the mountain of the house is for high places of a forest. Put him at all to death did Hezekiah king of Judah, and all Judah? Did he not fear Jehovah? Yeah, he appeaseth the face of Jehovah, and Jehovah repenteth concerning the evil that he spake against them, and we are doing great evil against our souls. And also there hath been a man prophesying in the name of Jehovah, Uriah son of Shemaiah, of kirjath Jerim, and he prophesieth against this city, and against this land according to all the words of Jeremiah. And the king Jehoiakim, and all his mighty ones, and all the heads, hear his words, and the king seeketh to put him to death, and Uriah heareth, and feareth, and fleeth, and goeth into Egypt. And the king Jehoiakim sendeth men to Egypt, Elnathan son of Achbor, and men with him unto Egypt. And they bring out Uriah from Egypt, and bring him in unto the king Jehoiakim, and he smiteth him with a sword, and casteth his corpse unto the graves of the sons of the people. Only, the hand of Ahikam son of Shaphan hath been with Jeremiah so as not to give him up into the hand of the people to put him to death. Jeremiah chapter 27 In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim son of Josiah, king of Judah, hath this word been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Thus said Jehovah unto me, make to thee bands and yokes. And thou hast put them on thy neck, and hast sent them unto the king of Edom, and unto the king of Moab, and unto the king of the sons of Ammon, and unto the king of Tyre, and unto the king of Zidon, by the hand of messengers who are coming into Jerusalem, unto Zedekiah king of Judah. And thou hast commanded them for their lords, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel. Thus do ye say unto your lords, I, I have made the earth with man, and the cattle that, are, on the face of the earth, by my great power, and by my stretched out arm, and I have given it to whom it hath been right in mine eyes. And now, I, I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, my servant, and also the beast of the field I have given to him to serve him. And served him have all the nations, and his son, and his son's son, till the coming in of the time of his land, also it, and done service for him have many nations and great kings. And it hath come to pass, 
the nation and the kingdom that do not serve him, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, and that which putteth not its neck into the yoke of the king of Babylon, with sword, and with famine, and with pestilence, I lay a charge on that nation and affirmation of Jehovah, till I consume them by his hand. And ye, ye do not hearken unto your prophets, and unto your diviners, and unto your dreamers, and unto your observers of clouds, and unto your sorcerers who are speaking unto you, saying, Ye do not serve the king of Babylon. For falsehood they are prophesying to you, so as to remove you far from off your ground, and I have driven you out, and ye have perished. And the nation that causeth its neck to enter into the yoke of the king of Babylon, and hath served him, I have left it on its ground an affirmation of Jehovah, and it hath tilled it, and dwelt in it. And unto Zedekiah king of Judah I have spoken according to all these words, saying, Cause you're next to enter into the yoke of the king of Babylon, and serve him and his people, and live. Why do ye die, thou and thy people, by sword, by famine, and by pestilence, as Jehovah hath spoken concerning the nation that doth not serve the king of Babylon? And ye do not hearken unto the words of the prophets who are speaking unto you, saying, Ye do not serve the king of Babylon, for falsehood they are prophesying to you. For I have not sent them an affirmation of Jehovah, and they are prophesying in my name falsely, so as to drive you out, and ye have perished, ye, and the prophets who are prophesying to you. And unto the priests, and unto all this people, I have spoken, saying, Thus said Jehovah, Ye do not hearken unto the words of your prophets, who are prophesying to you, saying, Lo, the vessels of the house of Jehovah are brought back from Babylon now in haste, for falsehood they are prophesying to you. Ye do not hearken unto them, serve the king of Babylon, and live. Why is this city a waste? And, if they be prophets, and if a word of Jehovah be with them, let them intercede, I pray you, with Jehovah of hosts, so that the vessels that are left in the house of Jehovah, and, in, the house of the king of Judah, and in Jerusalem, have not gone into Babylon. For thus said Jehovah of hosts concerning the pillars, and concerning the sea, and concerning the bases, and concerning the rest of the vessels that are left in this city. That Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon hath not taken, in his removing Jeconiah son of Jehoiakim king of Judah from Jerusalem to Babylon with all the freemen of Judah and Jerusalem. Surely thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, concerning the vessels that are left of the house of Jehovah, and of the house of the king of Judah, and, in, Jerusalem. To Babylon they are brought, and there they are till the day of my inspecting them, an affirmation of Jehovah. Then I have brought them up, and have brought them back unto this place. Jeremiah chapter 28 And it cometh to pass, in that year, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the fourth year, in the fifth month, spoken unto me hath Hananiah son of Azza the prophet, who, is, of Gibeon, in the house of Jehovah, before the eyes of the priests, and all the people, saying, Thus spake Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years of days I am bringing back unto this place all the vessels of the house of Jehovah that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon hath taken from this place, and doth carry to Babylon. And Jeconiah son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the removed of Judah, who are entering Babylon, I am bringing back unto this place an affirmation of Jehovah, for I do break the yoke of the king of Babylon. And Jeremiah the prophet saith unto Hananiah the prophet, before the eyes of the priests, and before the eyes of all the people who are standing in the house of Jehovah. Yeah, Jeremiah the prophet saith, Amen. So may Jehovah do, Jehovah establish thy words that thou hast prophesied to bring back the vessels of the house of Jehovah and all the removal from Babylon, unto this place. Only, here, I pray thee, this word that I am speaking in thine ears, and in the ears of all the people. 
The prophets who have been before me, and before thee, from of old, even they prophesy concerning many lands, and concerning great kingdoms, of battle, and of evil, and of pestilence. The prophet who doth prophesy of peace by the coming in of the word of the prophet, known as the prophet that Jehovah hath truly sent him. And Hananiah the prophet taketh the yoke from off the neck of Jeremiah the prophet, and breaketh it. And Hananiah speaketh before the eyes of all the people, saying, Thus said Jehovah, Thus I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, within two years of days, from off the neck of all the nations, and Jeremiah the prophet goeth on his way. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah after the breaking, by Hananiah the prophet, of the yoke from off the neck of Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Go, and thou hast spoken unto Hananiah, saying, Thus said Jehovah, Yokes of wood thou hast broken, and I have made instead of them yokes of iron. For thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, A yoke of iron I have put on the neck of all these nations to serve Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, and they have served him, and also the beast of the field I have given to him. And Jeremiah the prophet saith unto Hananiah the prophet, Here, I pray thee, O Hananiah, Jehovah hath not sent thee, and thou hast caused this people to trust on falsehood. Therefore thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am casting thee from off the face of the ground, this year thou deest, for apostasy thou hast spoken concerning Jehovah. And Hananiah the prophet dieth in that year, in the seventh month. Jeremiah chapter 29 And these, are, words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the remnant of the elders of the removal, and unto the priests, and unto the prophets, and unto all the people, whom Nebuchadnezzar removed from Jerusalem to Babylon. After the going forth of Jeconiah the king, and the mistress, and the officers, heads of Judah and Jerusalem, and the artificer, and the smith, from Jerusalem. By the hand of Elisa son of Shaphan, and Jemariah son of Hilkijah, whom Zedekiah king of Judah sent unto Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, to Babylon, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, to all the removal that I removed from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build ye houses, and abide, and plant ye gardens, and eat their fruit. Take ye wives, and beget sons and daughters, and take for your sons wives, and your daughters give to husbands, and they bear sons and daughters, and multiply there, and ye are not few. And seek the peace of the city whither I have removed you, and pray for it unto Jehovah, for in its peace ye have peace. For thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, let not your prophets who, are, in your midst, and your diviners, lift you up, nor hearken ye unto their dreams, they ye are causing, them, to dream. For with falsehood they are prophesying to you in my name, I have not sent them, an affirmation of Jehovah. For thus said Jehovah, surely at the fullness of Babylon, seventy years, I inspect you and have established towards you my good word, to bring you back unto this place. For I have known the thoughts that I am thinking towards you an affirmation of Jehovah, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give to you posterity and hope. And ye have called me, and have gone, and have prayed unto me, and I have hearkened unto you. And ye have sought me, and have found, for ye seek me with all your heart. And I have been found of you, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have turned back, to, your captivity, and have gathered you out of all the nations, and out of all the places whither I have driven you, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have brought you back unto the place whence I removed you. Because ye have said, Jehovah hath raised up to us prophets in Babylon. Surely thus said Jehovah concerning the king who is sitting on the throne of David and concerning all the people that is dwelling in this city, your brethren who went not forth with you in the removal. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Lo, I am sending among them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, 
and I have given them up as figs that are the vile, that are not eaten for badness. And I have pursued after them with sword, with famine, and with pestilence, and have given them for a trembling to all kingdoms of the earth, for a curse and for an astonishment, and for a hissing, and for a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them. Because that they have not hearkened unto my words and affirmation of Jehovah, that I sent unto them by my servants the prophets, rising early and sending, and ye hearkened not, an affirmation of Jehovah. And ye, hear ye a word of Jehovah, all ye of the captivity that I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, concerning Ahab son of Kaliah, and concerning Zedekiah son of Messiah, who are prophesying to you in my name falsehood, lo, I am giving them into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and he hath smitten them before your eyes. And taken from them hath been a reviling by all the removed of Judah that are in Babylon, saying, Jehovah doth set thee as Zedekiah, and as Ahab, whom the king of Babylon roasted with fire. Because that they have done folly in Israel, and commit adultery with the wives of their neighbors, and speak a word in my name falsely that I have not commanded them, and I am he who knoweth and a witness and affirmation of Jehovah. And unto Shemaiah the Nehelamite thou dost speak, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, saying, Because that thou hast sent in thy name letters unto all the people who are in Jerusalem, and unto Zephaniah son of Messiah the priest, and unto all the priests, saying, Jehovah hath made thee priest instead of Jehoiada the priest, for there being inspectors of the house of Jehovah, for every one mad and making himself a prophet, and thou hast put him unto the torture and unto the stocks. And now, why hast thou not pushed against Jeremiah of Anathoth, who is making himself a prophet to you? Because that he hath sent unto us to Babylon, saying, It is long, build ye houses, and abide, and plant ye gardens, and eat their fruit. And Zephaniah the priest readeth this letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah, saying, Send unto all the removal, saying, Thus said Jehovah concerning Shemaiah the Nehelamite, because that Shemaiah prophesied to you, and I, I have not sent him, and he doth cause you to trust on falsehood. Therefore, thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am seeing after Shemaiah the Nehelamite, and after his seed, he hath none dwelling in the midst of this people, nor doth he look on the good that I am doing to my people, an affirmation of Jehovah, for apostasy he hath spoken against Jehovah. Jeremiah chapter 30 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Thus spake Jehovah, God of Israel saying, Write for thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee on a book. For, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have turned back, to, the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, said Jehovah, and I have caused them to turn back unto the land that I gave to their fathers, and they do possess it. And these, are, the words that Jehovah hath spoken concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Surely thus said Jehovah, a voice of trembling we have heard, fear, and there is no peace. Ask, I pray you, and see, is a male bringing forth? Wherefore have I seen every man, his hands on his loins, as a traveling woman, and all faces have been turned to paleness? Wah! For great, is, that day, without any like it, yea, a time of adversity it, is, to Jacob, yet out of it he is saved. And it hath come to pass, in that day, an affirmation of Jehovah of hosts, I break his yoke from off thy neck, and thy bands I draw away, and lay no more service on him do strangers. And they have served Jehovah their God, and David their king whom I raise up to them. And thou, be not afraid, my servant Jacob, an affirmation of Jehovah, nor be affrighted, O Israel, for
for, lo, I am saving thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob hath turned back and rested, and is quiet, and there is none troubling. For with thee am I an affirmation of Jehovah, to save thee, for I make an end of all the nations whither I have scattered thee, only, of thee I do not make an end, and I have chastised thee in judgment, and do not entirely acquit thee. For thus said Jehovah, Incurable is thy breach, grievous thy stroke. There is none judging thy cause to bind up, healing medicines there are none for thee. All loving thee have forgotten thee, thee they do not seek, for with the stroke of an enemy I smote thee, the chastisement of a fierce one, because of the abundance of thy iniquity, mighty have been thy sins. What? Thou creest concerning thy breach. Incurable, is, thy pain, because of the abundance of thy iniquity, mighty have been thy sins. I have done these to thee. Therefore all consuming thee are consumed, and all thine adversaries, all of them, into captivity do go, and thy spoilers have been for a spoil, and all thy plunderers I give up to plunder. For I increase health to thee, and from thy strokes I do heal thee, an affirmation of Jehovah, for outcast, they have called to thee, Zion it, is, there is none seeking for her. Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I turn back, to, the captivity of the tents of Jacob, and his dwelling places I pity, and the city hath been built on its heap, and the palace according to its ordinance remaineth. And gone forth from them hath thanksgiving, and the voice of playful ones, and I have multiplied them and they are not few, and made them honorable, and they are not small. And his sons have been as aforetime, and his company before me is established, and I have seen after all his oppressors. And his honorable one hath been of himself, and his ruler from his midst goeth forth, and I have caused him to draw near, and he hath drawn nigh unto me, for who is he who hath pledged his heart to draw nigh unto me? An affirmation of Jehovah. And ye have been to me for a people, and I am to you for God. Lo, a whirlwind of Jehovah, fury hath gone forth, a cutting whirlwind, on the head of the wicked it stayeth. The fierceness of the anger of Jehovah doth not turn back till his doing, yea, till his establishing the devices of his heart, in the latter end of the days we consider it. Jeremiah chapter 31 at that time, an affirmation of Jehovah, I am for God to all families of Israel, and they, they are to me for a people. Thus said Jehovah, found grace in the wilderness hath a people remaining from the sword going to cause it to rest Israel. From afar Jehovah hath appeared to me, with love age during I have loved thee, therefore I have drawn thee, with, kindness. Again do I build thee and thou hast been built, O virgin of Israel, again thou puttiest on thy tabrets, and hast gone out in the chorus of the playful. Again thou dost plant vineyards in mountains of Samaria, planters have planted, and made common. For there is a day, cried of watchmen on Mount Ephraim, Rise, and we go up to Zion, unto Jehovah our God. For thus said Jehovah, Sing, O ye to Jacob, with, joy, and cry aloud at the head of the nations, sound ye, praise ye, and say, save, O Jehovah, thy people, the remnant of Israel. Lo, I am bringing them in from the north country, and have gathered them from the sides of the earth, among them, are, blind and lame, conceiving and traveling one, together, a great assembly, they turn back hither. With weeping they come in, and with supplications I bring them, I cause them to go unto streams of waters, in a right way, they stumble not in it, for I have been to Israel for a father, and Ephraim, my firstborn, is, he. Hear a word of Jehovah, O nations, and declare ye among isles afar off, and say, He who is scattering Israel doth gather him, and hath kept him as a shepherd, doth, his flock. For Jehovah hath ransomed Jacob, 
and redeemed him from a hand stronger than he. And they have come in, and have sung in the high place of Zion, and flowed unto the goodness of Jehovah, for wheat, and for new wine, and for oil, and for the young of the flock and herd, and their soul hath been as a watered garden, and they add not to grieve any more. Then rejoiced of the virgin in a chorus, both young men and old men, together, and I have turned their mourning to joy, and have comforted them, and gladdened them above their sorrow. And satisfied the soul of the priests, with fatness, and my people with my goodness are satisfied, an affirmation of Jehovah. Thus said Jehovah, a voice in Ramah is heard, wailing, weeping most bitter, Rachel is weeping for her sons, she hath refused to be comforted for her sons, because they are not. Thus said Jehovah, Withhold thy voice from weeping, and thine eyes from tears, for there is a reward for thy work, an affirmation of Jehovah, and they have turned back from the land of the enemy. And there is hope for thy latter end, an affirmation of Jehovah, and the sons have turned back, to their border. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself, Thou hast chastised me, and I am chastised, as a heifer not taught, turn me back, and I turn back, for thou art Jehovah my God. For after my turning back I repented, and after my being instructed I struck on the thigh, I have been ashamed, I have also blushed, for I have borne the reproach of my youth. A precious son is Ephraim to me? A child of delights? For since my speaking against him, I do thoroughly remember him still, therefore have my bowels been moved for him, I do greatly love him, an affirmation of Jehovah. Set up for thee signs, make for thee heaps, set thy heart to the highway, the way thou wentest, turn back, O virgin of Israel, turn back unto these thy cities. Till when dost thou withdraw thyself, O backsliding daughter? For Jehovah hath prepared a new thing in the land, woman doth compass man. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, still they say this word in the land of Judah, and in its cities, in my turning back, to, their captivity, Jehovah doth bless thee, habitation of righteousness, mountain of holiness. And dwelt in Judah have husbandmen, and in all its cities together, and they have journeyed in order. For I have satiated the weary soul, and every grieved soul I have filled. On this I have awaked, and I behold, and my sleep hath been sweet to me. Lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have sown the house of Israel, and the house of Judah, with seed of man, and seed of beast. And it hath been, as I watched over them to pluck up, and to break down, and to throw down, and to destroy, and to afflict, so do I watch over them to build, and to plant, an affirmation of Jehovah. In those days they do not say any more, fathers have eaten unripe fruit, and the son's teeth are blunted. But each for his own iniquity doth die, every man who is eating the unripe fruit, blunted are his teeth. Lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah and I have made with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah a new covenant. Not like the covenant that I made with their fathers, in the day of my laying hold on their hand, to bring them out of the land of Egypt, in that they made void my covenant, and I ruled over them an affirmation of Jehovah. For this is the covenant that I make with the house of Israel, after those days, an affirmation of Jehovah, I have given my law in their inward part, and on their heart I do write it, and I have been to them for God, and they are to me for a people. And they do not teach any more each his neighbor, and each his brother, saying, Know ye Jehovah, for they all know me, from their least unto their greatest, an affirmation of Jehovah, for I pardon their iniquity, and of their sin I make mention no more. Thus said Jehovah, who is giving the sun for a light by day, the statutes of moon and stars for a light by night, quieting the sea when its billows roar, Jehovah of hosts, is his name. 
If these statutes depart from before me, an affirmation of Jehovah, even the seed of Israel doth cease from being a nation before me all the days. Thus said Jehovah, If the heavens above be measured, and the foundations of earth below searched, even I kick against all the seed of Israel, for all that they have done, an affirmation of Jehovah. Lo, days, are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and the city hath been built to Jehovah, from the tower of Hananiel to the gate of the corner. And gone out again hath the measuring line over against it, unto the height of Garab, and it hath compassed to Goa. And all the valley of the carcasses and of the ashes, and all the fields unto the brook Kidron, unto the corner of the horse gate eastward, are, holy to Jehovah, it is not plucked up, nor is it thrown down any more to the age. Jeremiah chapter 32 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, in the tenth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, it, is, the eighteenth year of Nebuchadrezzar. And then the forces of the king of Babylon are laying siege against Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet hath been shut up in the court of the prison that, is, in the house of the king of Judah. Where Zedekiah king of Judah hath shut him up, saying, Wherefore art thou prophesying? Saying, Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am giving this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he hath captured it. And Zedekiah king of Judah doth not escape out of the hand of the Chaldeans, but is certainly given into the hand of the king of Babylon, and his mouth hath spoken with his mouth, and his eyes see his eyes. And, to, Babylon he leadeth Zedekiah, and there he is till my inspecting him, an affirmation of Jehovah, because ye fight with the Chaldeans, ye do not prosper. And Jeremiah saith, a word of Jehovah hath been unto me saying, Lo, Hanamiel son of Shalom, thine uncle, is coming unto thee, saying, Buy for thee my field that, is, in Anathoth, for thine, is, the right of redemption, to buy. And Hanamiel, my uncle's son, cometh in unto me, according to the word of Jehovah, unto the court of the prison, and saith unto me, Buy, I pray thee, my field that, is, in Anathoth, that, is, in the land of Benjamin, for thine, is, the right of possession, and thine of redemption, buy for thee. And I know that it, is, the word of Jehovah. And I buy the field, that, is, in Anathoth, from Hanamiel, my uncle's son, and I weigh to him the money, seventeen shekels of silver. And I write in a book, and seal, and cause witnesses to testify, and weigh the silver in balances. And I take the purchase book, the sealed one, according to law and custom, and the open one. And I give the purchase book unto Baruch son of Neriah, son of Messiah, before the eyes of Hanamiel, my uncle's son, and before the eyes of the witnesses, those writing in the purchase book, before the eyes of all the Jews who are sitting in the court of the prison. And I charge Baruch before their eyes, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, take these books, this purchase book, both the sealed one and the open one, and thou hast put them in an earthen vessel, that they may remain many days. For thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, again are houses and fields and vineyards bought in this land. And I pray unto Jehovah, after my giving the purchase book unto Baruch son of Neriah, saying, Ah, Lord Jehovah, lo, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power, and by thy stretched out arm, there is nothing too wonderful for thee. Doing kindness to thousands, and recompensing iniquity of fathers into the bosom of their sons after them, God, the great, the mighty, Jehovah of hosts, is, his name. Great in counsel, and mighty in act in that thine eyes are open on all the ways of the sons of Adam, to give to each according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. In that thou hast done signs and wonders in the land of Egypt unto this day, and in Israel, and among men, 
and thou dost make for thee a name as, at, this day. And thou bringest forth thy people Israel from the land of Egypt, with signs, and with wonders, and by a strong hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great fear. And thou givest to them this land that thou didst swear to their fathers to give to them, a land flowing with milk and honey. And they come in, and possess it, and they have not hearkened to thy voice, and in thy law have not walked, all that which thou didst lay a charge on them to do they have not done, and thou dost proclaim, to, them all this evil. Lo, the mounts, they have come into the city to capture it, and the city hath been given into the hand of the Chaldeans who are fighting against it, because of the sword, and the famine, and the pestilence, and that which thou hast spoken hath come to pass, and lo, thou art seeing. Yet thou hast said unto me, O Lord Jehovah, buy for thee the field with money, and cause witnesses to testify, and the city hath been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. And the word of Jehovah is unto Jeremiah, saying, Lo, I am Jehovah, God of all flesh, for me is anything too wonderful? Therefore, thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am giving this city into the hand of the Chaldeans, and into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and he hath captured it. And come and have the Chaldeans who are fighting against this city, and they have set this city on fire, and have burned it, and the houses on whose roofs they made perfume to Baal, and poured out libations to other gods, so as to provoke me to anger. For the sons of Israel and the sons of Judah have been only doing evil in mine eyes, from their youth, for the sons of Israel are only provoking me with the work of their hands and affirmation of Jehovah. For a cause of mine anger, and a cause of my fury, hath this city been to me, even from the day that they built it, and unto this day, to turn it aside from before my face. Because of all the evil of the sons of Israel, and of the sons of Judah that they have done, so as to provoke me, they, their kings, their heads, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they turn unto me the neck, and not the face, and teaching them, rising early and teaching, and they are not hearkening to accept instruction. And they set their abominations in the house over which my name is called, so as to defile it. And they build the high places of Baal, that, are, in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through to Molech, which I did not command them, nor did it come up on my heart to do this abomination, so as to cause Judah to sin. And now, therefore, thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, concerning this city, of which ye are saying, it hath been given into the hand of the king of Babylon by sword, and by famine, and by pestilence. Lo, I am gathering them out of all the lands whither I have driven them in mine anger, and in my fury, and in great wrath, and I have brought them back unto this place, and have caused them to dwell confidently. And they have been to me for a people, and I am to them for God. And I have given to them one heart, and one way, to fear me all the days, for good to them, and to their sons after them. And I have made for them a covenant age during, in that I turn not back from after them for my doing them good, and my fear I put in their heart, so as not to turn aside from me. And I have rejoiced over them to do them good, and have planted them in this land in truth, with all my heart, and with all my soul. For thus said Jehovah, as I brought in unto this people all this great evil, so I am bringing in on them all the good that I am speaking concerning them. And bought hath been the field in this land of which ye are saying, a desolation it, is, without man and beast, it hath been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Fields with money they buy, so as to write in a book, and to seal, and to cause witnesses to testify, in the land of Benjamin, and in suburbs of Jerusalem, and in cities of Judah, and in cities of the hill country, and in cities of the low country, and in cities of the south, for I turn back their captivity and affirmation of Jehovah. Jeremiah chapter 33
And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah a second time, and he is yet detained in the court of the prison, saying, Thus said Jehovah its maker, Jehovah its former, at establishing it, Jehovah is his name. Call unto me, and I do answer thee, yea, I declare to thee great and fenced things, thou hast not known them. For thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, that are broken down for the mounts, and for the tool. They are coming in to fight with the Chaldeans, and to fill them with the carcasses of men, whom I have smitten in mine anger, and in my fury, and, for, whom I have hidden my face from this city, because of all their evil. Lo, I am increasing to it health and cure, and have healed them, and revealed to them the abundance of peace and truth. And I have turned back the captivity of Judah, and the captivity of Israel, and I have built them as at the first. And cleansed them from all their iniquity, that they have sinned against me, and I have pardoned all their iniquities, that they have sinned against me, and that they transgressed against me. And it hath been to me for a name of joy, for praise, and for beauty, to all nations of the earth, who hear of all the good that I am doing them, and they have feared, and they have trembled for all the good, and for all the peace, that I am doing to it. Thus said Jehovah, again heard in this place of which ye are saying, Wasted, is, without man and without beast, in cities of Judah, and in streets of Jerusalem, that are desolated, without man, and without inhabitant, and without beast. Is a voice of joy and a voice of gladness, voice of bridegroom, and voice of bride, the voice of those saying, Thank Jehovah of hosts, for Jehovah, is, good, for his kindness, is, to the age, who are bringing in thanksgiving to the house of Jehovah, for I turn back the captivity of the land, as at the first, said Jehovah. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Again there is in this place, that is waste, without man and beast, and in all its cities, a habitation of shepherds, causing the flock to lie down. In the cities of the hill country, in the cities of the low country, and in the cities of the south, and in the land of Benjamin, and in the suburbs of Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, again doth the flock pass by under the hands of the number, said Jehovah. Lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have established the good word that I spake unto the house of Israel, and concerning the house of Judah. In those days, and at that time, I caused to shoot up to David a shoot of righteousness, and he hath done judgment and righteousness in the earth. In those days is Judah saved, and Jerusalem doth dwell confidently, and this, is, he whom Jehovah proclaimeth to her, our righteousness. For thus said Jehovah, not cut off to David is one sitting on the throne of the house of Israel. And to the priests, the Levites, not cut off from before me is one, causing a burnt offering to ascend, and perfuming a present, and making sacrifice all the days. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus said Jehovah, If ye do break my covenant of the day, and my covenant of the night, so that they are not daily and nightly in their season. Also my covenant is broken with David my servant, so that he hath not a son reigning on his throne, and with the Levites the priests, my ministers. As the host of the heavens is not numbered, nor the sand of the sea measured, so I multiply the seed of David my servant, and the Levites my ministers. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah, saying, Hast thou not considered what this people have spoken, saying, The two families on which Jehovah fixed, he doth reject them, and my people they despise, so that they are no more a people before them. Thus said Jehovah, If my covenant, is, not daily and nightly, the statutes of heaven and earth I have not appointed. Also the seed of Jacob, and David my servant, I reject against taking from his seed rulers for the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I turn back, to, 
their captivity, and have pitted them. Jeremiah chapter 34 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, and Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, and all his force, and all kingdoms of the land of the dominion of his hand, and all the peoples are fighting against Jerusalem, and against all its cities, saying, Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, Go, and thou hast spoken unto Zedekiah king of Judah, and hast said unto him, Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am giving this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he hath burned it with fire. And thou, thou dost not escape out of his hand, for thou art certainly caught, and into his hand thou art given, and thine eyes see the eyes of the king of Babylon, and his mouth with thy mouth speaketh, and Babylon thou enterest. Only, hear a word of Jehovah, O Zedekiah king of Judah, Thus said Jehovah unto thee, Thou dost not die by sword. In peace thou deest, and with the burnings of thy fathers, the former kings who have been before thee, so they make a burning for thee, and ah, Lord, they lament for thee, for the word I have spoken an affirmation of Jehovah. And Jeremiah the prophet speaketh unto Zedekiah king of Judah all these words in Jerusalem. And the forces of the king of Babylon are fighting against Jerusalem, and against all the cities of Judah that are left, against Lachish, and against Ezekah, for these have been left among the cities of Judah, cities of fortresses. The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, after the making by the king Zedekiah of a covenant with all the people who are in Jerusalem, to proclaim to them liberty, to send out each his manservant, and each his maidservant, the Hebrew and the Hebrewess, free, so as not to lay service on them, any on a Jew his brother. And hearken do all the heads, and all the people who have come into the covenant to send forth each his manservant and each his maidservant free, so as not to lay service on them any more, yea, they hearken, and send them away. And they turn afterwards, and cause the men servants and the maid servants to return, whom they had sent forth free, and they subdue them for men servants and for maid servants. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, I, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day of my bringing them forth from the land of Egypt, from a house of servants, saying, at the end of seven years ye do send forth each his brother, the Hebrew, who is sold to thee, and hath served thee six years, yea, thou hast sent him forth free from thee, and your fathers hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear. And ye turn back, ye today, and ye do that which is right in mine eyes, to proclaim liberty each to his neighbor, and ye make a covenant before me in the house over which my name is called. And ye turn back, and pollute my name, and ye cause each his manservant and each his maidservant, whom he had sent forth free, at their pleasure, to return, and ye subdue them to be to you for men servants and for maidservants. Therefore, thus said Jehovah, ye have not hearkened unto me to proclaim freedom, each to his brother, and each to his neighbor, lo, I am proclaiming to you liberty and affirmation of Jehovah unto the sword, unto the pestilence, and unto the famine, and I have given you for a trembling to all kingdoms of the earth. And I have given the men who are transgressing my covenant, who have not established the words of the covenant that they have made before me, by the calf, that they have cut in two, and passed through between its pieces. Heads of Judah, and heads of Jerusalem, the officers, and the priests, and all the people of the land those passing through between the pieces of the calf. Yea, I have given them into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those seeking their soul, and their carcass have been for food to the fowl of the heavens, and to the beast of the earth. And Zedekiah king of Judah, and his heads, I give into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those seeking their soul, and into the hand of the forces of the king of Babylon, that are going up from off you. Lo, I am commanding an affirmation of Jehovah, and have brought them back unto this city, and they have fought against it, and captured it, and burned it with fire, 
and the cities of Judah I do make a desolation without inhabitant. Jeremiah chapter 35 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, in the days of Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah, saying, Go unto the house of the Rechabites, and thou hast spoken with them, and brought them into the house of Jehovah, unto one of the chambers, and caused them to drink wine. And I take Jazaniah son of Jeremiah, son of Habaziniah, and his brethren, and all his sons, and all the house of the Rechabites, and bring them into the house of Jehovah, unto the chamber of the sons of Hanan son of Igdalia, a man of God, that, is, near to the chamber of the princes, that, is, above the chamber of Messiah son of Shalom, keeper of the threshold. And I put before the sons of the house of the Rechabites goblets full of wine, and cups, and I say unto them, Drink ye wine. And they say, We do not drink wine, for Jonadab son of Rechab, our father, charged us, saying, Ye do not drink wine, ye and your sons, unto the age. And a house ye do not build, and seed ye do not sow, and a vineyard ye do not plant, nor have ye any, for intents do ye dwell all your days, that ye may live many days on the face of the ground whither ye are sojourning. And we hearken to the voice of Jonadab son of Rechab, our father, to all that he commanded us, not to drink wine all our days, we, our wives, our sons, and our daughters nor to build houses for our dwelling, and vineyard, and field, and seed, we have none. And we dwell in tents, and we hearken, and we do according to all that Jonadab our father commanded us. And it cometh to pass, in the coming up of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon unto the land, that we say, Come, and we enter Jerusalem, because of the force of the Chaldeans, and because of the force of Aram, and we dwell in Jerusalem. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel. Go, and thou hast said to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Do ye not receive instruction? To hearken unto my words and affirmation of Jehovah. Performed have been the words of Jonadab son of Rechab, when he commanded his sons not to drink wine, and they have not drunk unto this day for they have obeyed the command of their father, and I, I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, and ye have not hearkened unto me. And I send unto you all my servants the prophets, rising early and sending, saying, Turn back, I pray you, each from his evil way, and amend your doings, yea, ye do not walk after other gods, to serve them, and dwell ye on the ground that I have given to you and to your fathers and ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. Because the sons of Jonadab son of Rechab have performed the command of their father, that he commanded them, and this people have not hearkened unto me. Therefore thus said Jehovah, God of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am bringing in unto Judah, and unto all inhabitants of Jerusalem, all the evil that I have spoken against them, because I have spoken unto them, and they have not hearkened, yea, I call to them, and they have not answered. And to the house of the Rechabites said Jeremiah, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, because that ye have hearkened unto the command of Jonadab your father, and ye observe all his commands, and do according to all that he commanded you. Therefore, thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, of Jonadab's son of Rechab one standing before me is not cut off all the days. Jeremiah chapter 36 And it cometh to pass, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah, this word hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Take to thee a roll of a book, and thou hast written on it all the words that I have spoken unto thee concerning Israel, and concerning Judah and concerning all the nations, from the day I spake unto thee, from the days of Josiah, even unto this day. If so be the house of Israel do hear all the evil that I am thinking of doing to them, so that they turn back each from his evil way, and I have been propitious to their iniquity, 
and to their sin. And Jeremiah calleth Baruch son of Neriah, and Baruch writeth from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of Jehovah, that he hath spoken unto him, on a roll of a book. And Jeremiah commendeth Baruch, saying, I am restrained, I am not able to enter the house of Jehovah. But thou hast entered and thou hast read in the roll that thou hast written from my mouth, the words of Jehovah, in the ears of the people, in the house of Jehovah, in the day of the fast, and also in the ears of all Judah who are coming in from their cities thou dost read them. If so be their supplication doth fall before Jehovah, and they turn back each from his evil way, for great, is, the anger and the fury that Jehovah hath spoken concerning this people. And Baruch son of Neriah doth according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, to read in the book the words of Jehovah in the house of Jehovah. And it cometh to pass, in the fifth year of Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah, in the ninth month, proclaimed a fast before Jehovah have all the people in Jerusalem, and all the people who are coming in from cities of Judah to Jerusalem. And Baruch readeth in the book the words of Jeremiah in the house of Jehovah, in the chamber of Jemariah son of Shaphan the scribe, in the higher court, at the opening of the new gate of the house of Jehovah, in the ears of all the people. And Micaiah son of Jemariah, son of Shaphan, heareth all the words of Jehovah from off the book. And he goeth down, to, the house of the king, unto the chamber of the scribe, and lo, there are all the heads sitting, Elishama the scribe, and Deliah son of Shemaiah, and Elnathan son of Akbar, and Jemariah son of Shaphan, and Zedekiah son of Hananiah, and all the heads. And declare to them doth Micaiah all the words that he hath heard when Baruch readeth in the book in the ears of the people. And all the heads send unto Baruch, Jehudi son of Nethaniah, son of Shelemiah, son of Cushi, saying, The role in which thou hast read in the ears of the people take in thy hand, and come. And Baruch son of Neriah taketh the roll in his hand and cometh in unto them. And they say unto him, Sit down, we pray thee, and read it in our ears and Baruch readeth in their ears. And it cometh to pass, when they hear all the words, they have been afraid one at another, and say unto Baruch, We do surely declare to the king all these words. And they asked Baruch, saying, Declare, we pray thee, to us, how didst thou write all these words from his mouth? And Baruch saith to them, From his mouth, he pronounceth unto me all these words and I am writing on the book with ink. And the heads say unto Baruch, Go, be hidden, thou and Jeremiah, and let no one know where ye are. Dot. And they go in unto the king, to the court, and the roll they have laid up in the chamber of Elishama the scribe, and they declare in the ears of the king all the words. And the king sendeth Jehudi to take the roll, and he taketh it out of the chamber of Elishama the scribe, and Jehudi readeth it in the ears of the king, and in the ears of all the heads who are standing by the king. And the king is sitting in the winter house, in the ninth month, and the stove before him is burning. And it cometh to pass, when Jehudi readeth three or four leaves, he cutteth it out with the scribe's knife, and hath cast unto the fire, that, is, on the stove, till the consumption of all the roll by the fire that, is, on the stove. And the king and all his servants who are hearing all these words have not been afraid, nor rent their garments. And also Elnathan, and Deliah, and Jemariah have interceded with the king not to burn the roll, and he hath not hearkened unto them. And the king commandeth Jeremiel son of Hamalek, and Sariah son of Osriel, and Shelemiah son of Abdeel, to take Baruch the scribe, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Jehovah doth hide them. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah, after the king's burning the roll, even the words that Baruch hath written from the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, Turn, take to thee another roll, and write on it all the former words that were on the first roll, 
that Jehoiakim king of Judah burnt. And unto Jehoiakim king of Judah thou dost say, Thus said Jehovah, Thou hast burnt this roll, saying, Wherefore hast thou written on it, saying, The king of Babylon surely cometh in, and hath destroyed this land, and caused to cease from it man and beast. Therefore, thus said Jehovah, concerning Jehoiakim king of Judah, he hath none sitting on the throne of David, and his carcass is cast out to heat by day, and to cold by night. And I have charged on him, and on his seed, and on his servants, their iniquity, and I have brought in on them, and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto the men of Judah, all the evil that I have spoken unto them, and they hearken not. And Jeremiah hath taken another roll, and giveth it unto Baruch son of Neriah the scribe, and he writeth on it from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book that Jehoiakim king of Judah hath burnt in the fire, and again there were added unto them many words like these. Jeremiah chapter 37 and reign doth king Zedekiah son of Josiah instead of Konia son of Jehoiakim whom Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon had caused to reign in the land of Judah. And he hath not hearkened, he, and his servants, and the people of the land, unto the words of Jehovah, that he spake by the hand of Jeremiah the prophet. And Zedekiah the king sendeth Jehuchel son of Shelemiah, and Zephaniah son of Messiah the priest, unto Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Pray, we beseech thee, for us unto Jehovah our God. And Jeremiah is coming in and going out in the midst of the people, and they have not put him in the prison house. And the force of Pharaoh hath come out of Egypt, and the Chaldeans, who are laying siege against Jerusalem, hear their report, and go up from off Jerusalem. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, Thus do ye say unto the king of Judah, who is sending you unto me, to seek me, Lo, the force of Pharaoh that is coming out to you for help hath turned back to its land, to Egypt. And the Chaldeans have turned back, and fought against this city, and captured it, and burnt it with fire. Thus said Jehovah, Lift not up your souls, saying, The Chaldeans surely go from off us, for they do not go. For though ye had smitten all the force of the Chaldeans who are fighting with you, and there were left of them wounded men, each in his tent, they rise, and have burnt the city with fire. And it hath come to pass, in the going up of the force of the Chaldeans from off Jerusalem, because of the force of Pharaoh. That Jeremiah goeth out from Jerusalem to go, to, the land of Benjamin, to receive a portion thence in the midst of the people. And it cometh to pass, he is at the gate of Benjamin, and there, is, a master of the ward, and his name is Erejah son of Shelemiah, son of Hananiah, and he catcheth Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Unto the Chaldeans thou art falling. And Jeremiah saith, Falsehood, I am not falling unto the Chaldeans, and he hath not hearkened unto him, and Erejah layeth hold on Jeremiah, and bringeth him in unto the heads. And the heads are wroth against Jeremiah, and have smitten him, and put him in the prison house, the house of Jonathan the scribe, for it they had made for a prison house. When Jeremiah hath entered into the house of the dungeon, and unto the cells, then Jeremiah dwelleth there many days. And the king Zedekiah sendeth, and taketh him, and the king asketh him in his house in secret, and saith, Is there a word from Jehovah? And Jeremiah saith, There is, and he saith, Into the hand of the king of Babylon thou art given. And Jeremiah saith unto the king Zedekiah, What have I sinned against thee, and against thy servants, and against this people, that ye have given me unto a prison house? And where? are, your prophets who prophesied to you, saying, The king of Babylon doth not come in against you, and against this land? And now, hearken, I pray thee, my lord, O king, let my supplication fall, I pray thee, before thee, and cause me not to return, to, the house of Jonathan the scribe, 
that I die not there. And the king Zedekiah come in death, and they commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison, also to give to him a cake of bread daily from the baker's street, till the consumption of all the bread of the city, and Jeremiah dwelleth in the court of the prison. Jeremiah chapter 38 And Shephatiah son of Matan, and Gedaliah son of Pashur, and Jukal son of Shelemiah, and Pashur son of Malchiah, hear the words that Jeremiah is speaking unto all the people, saying, Thus said Jehovah, He who is remaining in this city dieth, by sword, by famine, and by pestilence, and he who is going forth unto the Chaldeans liveth, and his soul hath been to him for a prey, and he liveth. Thus said Jehovah, This city is certainly given into the hand of the force of the king of Babylon, and he hath captured it. And the head say unto the king, Let, we pray thee, this man be put to death, because that he is making feeble the hands of the men of war, who are left in this city, and the hands of all the people, by speaking unto them according to these words, for this man is not seeking for the peace of this people, but for its evil. And the king Zedekiah saith, Lo, he, is, in your hand, for the king is not able for you, in, anything. And they take Jeremiah, and cast him into the pit of Malchiah son of the king, that, is, in the court of the prison, and they send down Jeremiah with cords, and in the pit there is no water, but mire, and Jeremiah sinketh in the mire. And Ebed melech the Cushite, a eunuch who, is, in the king's house, heareth that they have put Jeremiah into the pit, and the king is sitting at the gate of Benjamin. And Ebed melech goeth forth from the king's house, and speaketh unto the king, saying, My lord, O king, these men have done evil, in, all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they have cast into the pit, and he dieth in his place because of the famine, for there is no more bread in the city. And the king commandeth Ebed melech the Cushite, saying, Take with thee from this thirty men, and thou hast brought up Jeremiah the prophet from the pit, before he dieth. And Ebed melech taketh the men with him, and entereth the house of the king, unto the place of the treasury, and taketh thence worn out clouts, and worn out rags, and sendeth them unto Jeremiah unto the pit by cords. And Ebed melech the Cushite saith unto Jeremiah, Put, I pray thee, the worn out clouts and rags under thine armholes, at the place of the cords, and Jeremiah doth so. And they draw out Jeremiah with cords, and bring him up out of the pit, and Jeremiah dwelleth in the court of the prison. And the king Zedekiah sendeth, and taketh Jeremiah the prophet unto him, unto the third entrance that, is, in the house of Jehovah, and the king saith unto Jeremiah, I am asking thee a thing, do not hide from me anything. And Jeremiah saith unto Zedekiah, When I declare to thee, dost thou not surely put me to death? And when I counsel thee, thou dost not hearken unto me. And the king Zedekiah sweareth unto Jeremiah in secret, saying, Jehovah liveth, he who made for us this soul, I do not put thee to death, nor give thee unto the hand of these men who are seeking thy soul. And Jeremiah saith unto Zedekiah, Thus said Jehovah, God of hosts, God of Israel, If thou dost certainly go forth unto the heads of the king of Babylon, then hath thy soul lived, and this city is not burned with fire, yea, thou hast lived, thou and thy house. And if thou dost not go forth unto the heads of the king of Babylon, then hath this city been given into the hand of the Chaldeans, and they have burnt it with fire, and thou dost not escape from their hand. And the king Zedekiah saith unto Jeremiah, I am fearing the Jews who have fallen unto the Chaldeans, lest they give me into their hand, and they have insulted me. And Jeremiah saith, They do not give thee up, hearken, I pray thee, to the voice of Jehovah, to that which I am speaking unto thee, and it is well for thee, and thy soul doth live. And if thou art refusing to go forth, this, is, 
the thing that Jehovah hath shown me. That, lo, all the women who have been left in the house of the king of Judah are brought forth unto the heads of the king of Babylon, and lo, they are saying, Persuaded thee, and prevailed against thee, have thine allies, sunk into mire have thy feet, they have been turned backward. And all thy wives, and thy sons, are brought forth unto the Chaldeans, and thou dost not escape from their hand, for by the hand of the king of Babylon thou art caught, and this city is burnt with fire. And Zedekiah saith unto Jeremiah, Let no man know of these words, and thou dost not die. And when the heads hear that I have spoken with thee, and they have come in unto thee, and have said unto thee, Declare to us, we pray thee, what thou didst speak unto the king, do not hide it from us, and we do not put thee to death, and what the king spake unto thee. Then thou hast said unto them, I am causing my supplication to fall before the king, not to cause me to return to the house of Jonathan, to die there. And all the heads come in unto Jeremiah, and ask him, and he declareth to them according to all these words that the king commanded, and they keep silent from him, for the matter was not heard. And Jeremiah dwelleth in the court of the prison till the day that Jerusalem hath been captured, and he was, there, when Jerusalem was captured. Jeremiah chapter 39 In the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month, come hath Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and all his force unto Jerusalem, and they lay siege against it. In the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, in the ninth of the month, hath the city been broken up. And come and do all the heads of the king of Babylon, and they sit at the middle gate, Nergal-Sherezer, Sanbenibo, Sarsakim, chief of the eunuchs, Nergal-Sherezer, chief of the mages, and all the rest of the heads of the king of Babylon. And it cometh to pass, when Zedekiah king of Judah, and all the men of war, have seen them, that they flee and go forth by night from the city, the way of the king's garden, through the gate between the two walls, and he goeth forth the way of the plain. And the forces of the Chaldeans pursue after them, and overtake Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and they take him, and bring him up unto Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, to Riblah, in the land of Hamath, and he speaketh with him, judgments. And the king of Babylon slaughtereth the sons of Zedekiah, in Riblah, before his eyes, yea, all the freemen of Judah hath the king of Babylon slaughtered. And the eyes of Zedekiah he hath blinded, and he bindeth him with brazen fetters, to bring him in to Babylon. And the house of the king, and the house of the people, have the Chaldeans burnt with fire, and the walls of Jerusalem they have broken down. And the remnant of the people who are left in the city, and those falling who have fallen to him, and the remnant of the people who are left, hath Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, removed, to, Babylon. And of the poor people, who have nothing, hath Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, left in the land of Judah, and he giveth to them vineyards and fields on the same day. And Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon giveth a charge concerning Jeremiah, by the hand of Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, saying, Take him, and place thine eyes upon him, and do no evil thing to him, but as he speaketh unto thee, so do with him. And Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners sendeth, and Nebuchadnezzar, chief of the eunuchs, and nergal chief of the mages, and all the chiefs of the king of Babylon. Yeah, they send and take Jeremiah out of the court of the prison, and give him unto Gedaliah son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, to carry him home, and he dwelleth in the midst of the people. And unto Jeremiah hath a word of Jehovah been, in his being detained in the court of the prison, saying, Go, and thou hast spoken to Abed melech the Cushite, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am bringing in my words unto this city for evil, and not for good, and they have been before thee in that day. 
And I have delivered thee in that day an affirmation of Jehovah, and thou art not given into the hand of the men of whose face thou art afraid. For I do certainly deliver thee, and by sword thou fallest not, and thy life hath been to thee for a spoil, for thou hast trusted in me an affirmation of Jehovah. Jeremiah chapter 40 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah from Jehovah, after Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, hath sent him from Ramah, in his taking him and he a prisoner in chains in the midst of all the removal of Jerusalem and of Judah, who are removed to Babylon. And the chief of the executioners taketh Jeremiah, and saith unto him, Jehovah thy God hath spoken this evil concerning this place. And Jehovah bringeth it in, and doth as he spake, because ye have sinned against Jehovah and have not hearkened to his voice, even this thing hath been to you. And now, lo, I have loosed thee today from the chains that, are, on thy hand, if good in thine eyes to come with me, to, Babylon, come, and I keep mine eye upon thee, and if evil in thine eyes to come with me to Babylon, forbear, see, all the land, is, before thee, whither, it be, good, and whither, it be, right in thine eyes to go, go. And while he doth not reply or turn back unto Gedaliah son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon hath appointed over the cities of Judah, and dwell with him in the midst of the people, or whithersoever it is right in thine eyes to go, go. And the chief of the executioners giveth to him for the way, and a gift, and sendeth him away. And Jeremiah cometh in unto Gedaliah son of Ahikam, to Mizpah, and dwelleth with him, in the midst of the people who are left in the land. And all the heads of the forces that, are, in the field here, they and their men, that the king of Babylon hath appointed Gedaliah son of Ahikam over the land, and that he hath charged him, with, men, and women, and infants, and of the poor of the land, of those who have not been removed to Babylon. And they come in unto Gedaliah to Mizpah, even Ishmael son of Nethaniah, and Johanan and Jonathan sons of Korea, and Sariah son of Tanhumeth, and the sons of Ephi the Netophathite, and Jezaniah son of the Machathite, they and their men. And swear to them doth Gedaliah son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, and to their men, saying, Be not afraid of serving the Chaldeans, abide in the land and serve the king of Babylon, and it is well for you. And I, lo, I am dwelling in Mizpah, to stand before the Chaldeans who are come in unto us, and ye, gather ye wine, and summer fruit, and oil, and put in your vessels, and dwell in your cities that ye have taken. And also all the Jews who, are, in Moab, and among the sons of Ammon, and in Edom, and who, are, in all the lands, have heard that the king of Babylon hath given a remnant to Judah, and that he hath appointed over them Gedaliah son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan. And all the Jews from all the places whither they have been driven, turn back and enter the land of Judah, unto Gedaliah, to Mizpah, and they gather wine and summer fruit very much. And Johanan son of Korea, and all the heads of the forces that are in the field, have come in unto Gedaliah to Mizpah. And they say unto him, Dost thou really know that Bali's king of the sons of Ammon hath sent Ishmael son of Nethaniah to smite thy soul? And Gedaliah son of Ahikam hath not given to them credence. And Johanan son of Korea hath spoken unto Gedaliah in secret, in Mizpah, saying, Let me go, I pray thee, and I smite Ishmael son of Nethaniah and no one doth know, why doth he smite thy soul? And scattered have been all Judah who are gathered unto thee, and perished hath the remnant of Judah. And Gedaliah son of Ahikam saith unto Johanan son of Korea, Thou dost not do this thing, for falsehood thou art speaking concerning Ishmael. Jeremiah chapter 41 And it cometh to pass, in the seventh month, Come hath Ishmael son of Nethaniah, son of Elishama, of the seed royal, and of the chiefs of the king, 
and ten men with him, unto Gedaliah son of Ahikam, to Mizpah, and they eat their bread together in Mizpah. And Ishmael son of Nethaniah riseth, and the ten men who have been with him, and they smite Gedaliah son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, with the sword, and he putteth him to death whom the king of Babylon hath appointed over the land. And all the Jews who have been with him, with Gedaliah, in Mizpah, and the Chaldeans who have been found there, the men of war, hath Ishmael smitten. And it cometh to pass, on the second day of the putting of Gedaliah to death, and no one hath known. That men come in from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria eighty men with shaven beards, and rent garments, and cutting themselves, and an offering and frankincense in their hand, to bring into the house of Jehovah. And Ishmael son of Nethaniah goeth forth to meet them, from Mizpah, going on and weeping, and it cometh to pass, at meeting them, that he saith unto them, Come in unto Gedaliah son of Ahikam. And it cometh to pass, at their coming in unto the midst of the city, that Ishmael son of Nethaniah doth slaughter them, at the midst of the pit, he and the men who, are, with him. And ten men have been found among them, and they say unto Ishmael, Do not put us to death, for we have things hidden in the field, wheat, and barley, and oil, and honey. And he forbeareth, and hath not put them to death in the midst of their brethren. And the pit whither Ishmael hath cast all the carcasses of the men whom he hath smitten along with Gedaliah, is that which the king Asa made because of Basha king of Israel, it hath Ishmael son of Nethaniah filled with the pierced. And Ishmael taketh captive all the remnant of the people who, are, in Mizpah, the daughters of the king, and all the people who are left in Mizpah, whom Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, hath committed, to, a Gedaliah son of Ahikam, and Ishmael son of Nethaniah taketh them captive, and goeth to pass over unto the sons of Ammon. And here doth Johanan son of Korea, and all the heads of the forces that, are, with him, of all the evil that Ishmael son of Nethaniah hath done. And they take all the men, and go to fight with Ishmael son of Nethaniah, and they find him at the great waters that, are, in Gibeon. And it cometh to pass, when all the people who, are, with Ishmael see Johanan son of Korea, and all the heads of the forces who, are, with him, that they rejoice. And all the people whom Ishmael hath taken captive from Mizpah turn round, yea, they turn back, and go unto Johanan son of Korea. And Ishmael son of Nethaniah hath escaped, with eight men, from the presence of Johanan, and he goeth unto the sons of Ammon. And Johanan son of Korea, and all the heads of the forces who, are, with him, take all the remnant of the people whom he hath brought back from Ishmael son of Nethaniah from Mizpah after he had smitten Gedaliah son of Ahikam, mighty ones, men of war, and women, and infants, and eunuchs, whom he had brought back from Gibeon. And they go and abide in the habitations of Chimam, that, are, near Bethlehem, to go to enter Egypt. From the presence of the Chaldeans, for they have been afraid of them, for Ishmael son of Nethaniah had smitten Gedaliah son of Ahikam, whom the king of Babylon had appointed over the land. Jeremiah chapter 42 And they come nigh, all the heads of the forces, and Johanan son of Korea, and Jezaniah son of Hashaya, and all the people from the least even unto the greatest. And they say unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let, we pray thee, our supplication fall before thee, and pray for us unto Jehovah thy God for all this remnant, for we have been left a few out of many, as thine eyes do see us. And Jehovah thy God doth declare to us the way in which we walk, and the thing that we do. And Jeremiah the prophet saith unto them, I have heard, Lo, I am praying unto Jehovah your God according to your words, and it hath come to pass, the whole word that Jehovah answereth you, I declare to you, I do not withhold from you a word. And they have said to Jeremiah, 
Jehovah is against us for a witness true and faithful, if, according to all the word with which Jehovah thy God doth send thee unto us, we do not so. Whether good or evil, to the voice of Jehovah our God, to whom we are sending thee, we do hearken, because it is good for us when we hearken to the voice of Jehovah our God. And it cometh to pass, at the end of ten days, that there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah. And he calleth unto Johanan son of Korea, and unto all the heads of the forces that, are, with him, and to all the people, from the least even unto the greatest. And he saith unto them, Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me, to cause your supplication to fall before him. If ye do certainly dwell in this land, then I have builded you up, and I throw not down, and I have planted you, and I pluck not up, for I have repented concerning the evil that I have done to you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, whom ye are afraid of, be not afraid of him, an affirmation of Jehovah, for with you, am, I, to save you, and to deliver you from his hand. And I give to you mercies, and he hath pitied you, and caused you to turn back unto your own ground. And if ye are saying, we do not dwell in this land, not to hearken to the voice of Jehovah your God. Saying, No, but the land of Egypt we enter, that we see no war, and the sound of a trumpet do not hear, and for bread be not hungry, and there do we dwell. And now, therefore, hear ye a word of Jehovah, O remnant of Judah, thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel. If ye really set your faces to enter Egypt, and have gone into sojourn there. Then it hath come to pass, the sword that ye are afraid of, doth there overtake you, in the land of Egypt, and the hunger, because of which ye are sorrowful, doth there cleave after you in Egypt, and there ye die. Thus are all the men who have set their faces to enter Egypt to sojourn there, they die by sword, by hunger, and by pestilence and there is not to them a remnant and an escaped one, because of the evil that I am bringing in upon them. For thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, as poured out hath been mine anger and my fury on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so poured out is my fury upon you in your entering Egypt, and ye have been for an execration, and for an astonishment, and for a reviling, and for a reproach, and ye do not see any more this place. Jehovah hath spoken against you, O remnant of Judah, do not enter Egypt, know certainly that I have testified against you today. For ye have shewed yourselves perverse in your souls, for ye sent me unto Jehovah your God, saying, Pray for us unto Jehovah our God, and according to all that Jehovah our God saith, so declare to us, and we have done, it. And I declare to you today, and ye have not hearkened to the voice of Jehovah your God, and to anything with which he hath sent me unto you. And now, know ye certainly that by sword, by famine, and by pestilence ye die, in the place that ye have desired to go into sojourn there. Jeremiah chapter 43 And it cometh to pass, when Jeremiah doth finish to speak unto all the people all the words of Jehovah their God, with which Jehovah their God hath sent him unto them all these words. That Azariah son of Hashea, and Johanan son of Korea, and all the proud men, speak unto Jeremiah, saying, Falsehood thou art speaking, Jehovah our God hath not sent thee to say, Do not enter Egypt to sojourn there. For Baruch son of Neriah is moving thee against us, in order to give us up into the hand of the Chaldeans, to put us to death, and to remove us to Babylon. And Johanan son of Korea, and all the heads of the forces, and all the people, have not hearkened to the voice of Jehovah, to dwell in the land of Judah. And Johanan son of Korea, and all the heads of the forces, take all the remnant of Judah who have turned from all the nations whither they were driven to sojourn in the land of Judah. The men, and the women, and the infant, and the daughters of the king, and every person that Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, had left with Gedaliah son of Ahikam, 
son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Baruch son of Neriah. And they enter the land of Egypt, for they have not hearkened to the voice of Jehovah, and they enter unto Topanis. And there is a word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah in Topanis, saying, Take in thy hand great stones, and thou hast hidden them, in the clay, in the brick kiln, that, is, at the opening of the house of Pharaoh in Topanis, before the eyes of the men of Judah. And thou hast said unto them, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am sending, and I have taken Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, my servant, and I have set his throne above these stones that I have hid, and he hath stretched out his pavilion over them. And he hath come, and smitten the land of Egypt, those who, are, for death to death, and those who, are, for captivity to captivity, and those who, are, for the sword to the sword. And I have kindled a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and it hath burned them, and he hath taken them captive, and covered himself with the land of Egypt, as cover himself doth the shepherd with his garment, and he hath gone forth thence in peace. And he hath broken the standing pillars of the house of the sun, that, is, in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of Egypt he doth burn with fire. Jeremiah chapter 44 The word that hath been unto Jeremiah concerning all the Jews who are dwelling in the land of Egypt, who are dwelling in Migdal, and in Topanis, and in Naph, and in the land of Pathros, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Ye, ye have seen all the evil that I have brought in on Jerusalem, and on all the cities of Judah, and lo, they, are, a waste this day, and there is none dwelling in them. Because of their wickedness that they have done, by provoking me to anger, by going to make perfume, by serving other gods, that they knew not, they, ye, and your fathers. And I send unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending, saying, I pray you, do not this abomination that I have hated. And they have not hearkened nor inclined their ear to turn back from their wickedness, not to make perfume to other gods. And poured out is my fury, and mine anger, and it burneth in cities of Judah, and in streets of Jerusalem, and they are for a waste, for a desolation, as, at, this day. And, now, thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, why are you doing great evil unto your own souls, to cut off to you man and woman, infant and suckling, from the midst of Judah, so as not to leave to you a remnant. By provoking me to anger by the works of your hands, by making perfume to other gods in the land of Egypt, whither ye are going in to sojourn, so as to cut yourselves off, and so as to your being for a reviling and for a reproach among all nations of the earth? Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, and the wickedness of the kings of Judah, and the wickedness of their wives, and your own wickedness, and the wickedness of your wives, that they have done in the land of Judah, and in streets of Jerusalem? They have not been humbled unto this day, nor have they been afraid, nor have they walked in my law, and in my statutes, that I have set before you and before your fathers. Therefore, thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am setting my face against you for evil, even to cut off all Judah. And I have taken the remnant of Judah, who have set their faces to enter the land of Egypt to sojourn there, and they have all been consumed in the land of Egypt, they fall by sword, by famine they are consumed, from the least even unto the greatest, by sword and by famine they die, and they have been for an execration, for an astonishment, and for a reviling, and for a reproach. And I have seen after those dwelling in the land of Egypt, as I saw after Jerusalem, with sword, with famine, and with pestilence. And there is not an escaped and remaining one of the remnant of Judah, who are entering into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, even to turn back to the land of Judah, whither they are lifting up their soul to return to dwell, for they do not turn back, except those escaping.
And they answer Jeremiah all the men who are knowing that their wives are making perfume to other gods, and all the women who are remaining, a great assembly, even all the people who are dwelling in the land of Egypt, in Pathros, saying, The word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of Jehovah, we are not hearkening unto thee. For we certainly do everything that hath gone out of our mouth, to make perfume to the queen of the heavens, and to pour out to her libations, as we have done, we, and our fathers, our kings, and our heads, in cities of Judah, and in streets of Jerusalem, and we are satisfied with bread, and we are well, and evil we have not seen. And from the time we have ceased to make perfume to the queen of the heavens, and to pour out to her libations, we have lacked all, and by sword and by famine we have been consumed. And when we are making perfume to the queen of the heavens, and pouring out to her libations, without our husbands have we made for her cakes to idolize her, and to pour out to her libations? And Jeremiah saith unto all the people, concerning the men and concerning the women, and concerning all the people who are answering him, saying, the perfume that ye made in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye, and your fathers, your kings, and your heads, and the people of the land, hath not Jehovah remembered it? Yeah, it cometh up on his heart. And Jehovah is not able any more to accept, you, because of the evil of your doings, because of the abominations that ye have done, and your land is for a waste, and for an astonishment and for a reviling, without inhabitant, as, at, this day. Because that ye have made perfume, and because ye have sinned against Jehovah, and have not hearkened to the voice of Jehovah, and in his law, and in his statutes, and in his testimonies ye have not walked, therefore hath this evil met you as, at, this day. And Jeremiah saith unto all the people, and unto all the women, Hear ye a word of Jehovah, all Judah who, are, in the land of Egypt. Thus spake Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives both speak with your mouth, and with your hands have fulfilled, saying, We certainly execute our vows that we have vowed, to make perfume to the queen of the heavens, and to pour out to her libations, ye do certainly establish your vows, and certainly execute your vows. Therefore, Hear ye a word of Jehovah, all Judah who are dwelling in the land of Egypt, Lo, I, I have sworn by my great name, said Jehovah, my name is no more proclaimed by the mouth of any man of Judah, saying, Live doth the Lord Jehovah, in all the land of Egypt. Lo, I am watching over them for evil, and not for good, and consumed have been all the men of Judah who, are, in the land of Egypt, by sword and by famine, till their consumption. And the escaped of the sword turn back out of the land of Egypt to the land of Judah, few in number, and known have all the remnant of Judah who are coming into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, whose word is established, mine or theirs. And this, is, to you the sign, and affirmation of Jehovah, that I am seeing after you in this place, so that ye know that my words are certainly established against you for evil. Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am giving Pharaoh Hophar king of Egypt into the hand of his enemies, and into the hand of those seeking his life, as I have given Zedekiah king of Judah into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, his enemy, and who is seeking his life. Jeremiah chapter 45 The word that Jeremiah the prophet hath spoken unto Baruch son of Neriah, in his writing these words on a book from the mouth of Jeremiah, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah, saying, Thus said Jehovah, God of Israel, concerning thee, O Baruch. Thou hast said, What to me, now, for Jehovah hath added sorrow to my pain, I have been wearied with my sighing, and rest I have not found. Thus dost thou say unto him, Thus said Jehovah, Lo, that which I have built I am throwing down, and that which I have planted I am plucking up, even the whole land itself. And thou, thou seekest for thee great things, do not seek, for lo, 
I am bringing in evil on all flesh, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have given to thee thy life for a spoil, in all places whither thou goest. Jeremiah chapter 46 That which hath been the word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah the prophet concerning the nations. For Egypt, concerning the force of Pharaonecho king of Egypt, that hath been by the river Frat, in Karchemish, that Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon hath smitten, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim son of Josiah king of Judah. Set ye an array shield and buckler, and draw nigh to battle. Gird the horses, and go up, ye horsemen, and station yourselves with helmets, polish the javelins, put on the coats of mail. Wherefore have I seen them dismayed they are turned backward, and their mighty ones are beaten down, and, to, a refuge they have fled, and not turned the face? Fear, is, round about, an affirmation of Jehovah. The swift do not flee, nor do the mighty escape northward, by the side of the river Frat, they have stumbled and fallen. Who is this? As a flood he cometh up, as rivers do his waters shake themselves. Egypt, as a flood cometh up, and as rivers the waters shake themselves. And he saith, I go up, I cover the land, I destroy the city and the inhabitants in it. Go up, ye horses, and boast yourselves, ye chariots, and go forth, ye mighty, cush and foot handling the shield, and lud handling, treading the bow. And that day, is, to the Lord Jehovah of hosts a day of vengeance, to be avenged of his adversaries, and the sword hath devoured, and been satisfied, and it hath been watered from their blood, for a sacrifice, is, to the Lord Jehovah of hosts, in the land of the north by the river Frat. Go up to Gilead, and take balm, O virgin daughter of Egypt, in vain thou hast multiplied medicines, healing there is none for thee. Nations have heard of thy shame, and thy cry hath filled the land, for the mighty on the mighty did stumble, together they have fallen, both of them. The word that Jehovah hath spoken unto Jeremiah the prophet concerning the coming in of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, to smite the land of Egypt. Declare ye in Egypt, and sound in Migdal, yea, sound in Noph, and in Topan say, Station thyself, yea, prepare for thee, for a sword hath devoured around thee. Wherefore hath thy bull been swept away? He hath not stood, because Jehovah thrust him away. He hath multiplied the stumbling, yea one hath fallen upon his neighbor and they say, Rise, and we turn back to our people, and unto the land of our birth, because of the oppressing sword. They have cried there, Pharaoh king of Egypt, is, a desolation, passed by half the appointed time. I live, an affirmation of the king, Jehovah of hosts, is, his name, surely as Tabor, is, among mountains, and as Carmel by the sea, he cometh in. Goods for removal make for thee, O inhabitant, daughter of Egypt, for Noph becometh a desolation, and hath been burnt up, without inhabitant. A heifer very fair, is, Egypt, rending from the north doth come into her. Even her hired ones in her midst, are, as calves of the stall, for even they have turned, they have fled together, they have not stood, for the day of their calamity hath come on them. The time of their inspection. Its voice as a serpent goeth on, for with a force they go, and with axes they have come into her, as hewers of trees. They have cut down her forest, an affirmation of Jehovah, for it is not searched, for they have been more than the grasshopper, and they have no numbering. Ashamed hath been the daughter of Egypt, she hath been given into the hand of the people of the north. Said hath Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am seeing after Ammon of No, and after Pharaoh, and after Egypt, and after her gods, and after her kings, and after Pharaoh, and after those trusting in him. And I have given them into the hand of those seeking their life, and into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, 
and into the hand of his servants, and afterwards it is inhabited, as, in, days of old, an affirmation of Jehovah. And thou, thou dost not fear, my servant Jacob, nor, art, thou dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I am saving thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob hath turned back, and hath been at rest, and been at ease, and there is none disturbing. Thou, thou dost not fear, my servant Jacob, an affirmation of Jehovah, for with thee I, am, for I make an end of all the nations whither I have driven thee, and of thee I do not make an end, and I have reproved thee in judgment, and do not entirely acquit thee. Jeremiah chapter 47 That which hath been the word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah concerning the Philistines, before Pharaoh smiteth Gaza. Thus said Jehovah, Lo, waters are coming up from the north, and have been for an overflowing stream, and they overflow the land and its fullness, the city, and the inhabitants in it, and men have cried out, and howled hath every inhabitant of the land. From the sound of the stamping of the hoofs of his mighty ones, from the rushing of his chariot, the noise of his wheels, fathers have not turned unto sons, from feebleness of hands. Because of the day that hath come to spoil all the Philistines, to cut off to Tyre and to Zidon every helping remnant. For Jehovah is spoiling the Philistines, the remnant of the Isle of Kaphtar. Come hath baldness unto Gaza, cut off hath been Ashkelon, O remnant of their valley, till when dost thou cut thyself? Ho, sword of Jehovah, till when art thou not quiet? Be removed unto thy sheath, rest and cease. How shall it be quiet, and Jehovah hath given a charge to it, against Ashkelon, and against the seashore? There hath he appointed it. Jeremiah chapter 48 Concerning Moab, thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Wa unto Nebo, for it is spoiled, put to shame, captured hath been Kiriathame, put to shame hath been the high tower, yea, it hath been broken down. There is no more praise of Moab, in Heshbon they devised against it evil, come, and we cut it off from, being, a nation, also, O madman, thou art cut off, after thee goeth a sword. A voice of a cry, is, from Horonaim, spoiling in great destruction. Destroyed hath been Moab, caused a cry to be heard have her little ones. For the ascent of Luhith with weeping, Go up doth weeping, for in the descent of Horonaim adversaries a cry of desolation have heard. Flee ye, deliver yourselves, ye are as a naked thing in a wilderness. For, because of thy trusting in thy works, and in thy treasures, even thou art captured, and gone out hath Chemosh in a removal, his priests and his heads together. And come and doth a spoiler unto every city, and no city doth escape and perished hath the valley, and destroyed been the plain, as Jehovah said. Give wings to Moab, for she utterly goeth out, and her cities are for a desolation, without an inhabitant in them. Cursed, is, he who is doing the work of Jehovah slothfully, and cursed, is, he who is withholding his sword from blood. Secure is Moab from his youth, and at rest, is, he for his preserved things, and he hath not been emptied out from vessel unto vessel, and into captivity he hath not gone, therefore hath his taste remained in him, and his fragrance hath not been changed. Therefore, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have sent to him wanderers, and they have caused him to wander, and his vessels they empty out, and his bottles they dash in pieces. And ashamed hath been Moab because of Chemosh, as the house of Israel have been ashamed because of Bethel their confidence. How do ye say, We, are, mighty, and men of strength for battle? Spoiled is Moab, and her cities hath one gone up, and the choice of its young men have gone down to slaughter, an affirmation of the king, Jehovah of hosts, is, his name. Near is the calamity of Moab to come, 
and his affliction hath hasted exceedingly. Bemoan for him, all ye round about him, and all knowing his name, say ye, how hath it been broken, the staff of strength, the rod of beauty. Come down from honor, sit in thirst, O inhabitant, daughter of Dibon, for a spoiler of Moab hath come up to thee, he hath destroyed thy fence places. On the way stand, and watch, O inhabitant of Aroer, ask the fugitive and escaped, say, what hath happened? Put to shame hath been Moab, for it hath been broken down, howl and cry, declare ye in Arnon, for spoiled is Moab. And judgment hath come in unto the land of the plain, unto Holon, and unto Jehaza, and on Metheth, and on Dibon, and on Nebo, and on Beth Diblathame, and on Kirathame, and on Beth Gamel, and on Beth Mian, and on Kerioth, and on Basra, and on all cities of the land of Moab, the far off and the near. Cut down hath been the horn of Moab, and his arm hath been broken, an affirmation of Jehovah. Declare ye him drunk, for against Jehovah he made himself great and Moab hath stricken in his vomit, and he hath been for a derision even he. And was not Israel the derision to thee? Among thieves was he found? For since thy words concerning him, thou dost bemoan thyself. Forsake cities, and dwell in a rock ye inhabitants of Moab, and be as a dove making a nest in the passages of a pit's mouth. We have heard of the arrogance of Moab, exceeding proud. His haughtiness, and his arrogance, and his pride, and the height of his heart. I, I have known, an affirmation of Jehovah, his wrath, and, it is, not right, his devices, not right they have done. Therefore for Moab I howl, even for Moab, all of it, I cry for men of Ke'ar Heres, it doth mourn. With the weeping of Jazer, I weep for thee, O vine of Sibma, thy branches have passed over a sea, unto the sea of Jazer they have come, on thy summer fruits, and on thy harvest, a spoiler hath fallen. And removed hath been joy and gladness from the fruitful field, even from the land of Moab, and wine from wine presses I have caused to cease, shouting doth not proceed, the shouting, is, no shouting. Because of the cry of Heshbon unto Alili, unto Jehaz they have given their voice, from Zor unto Horonaim, a heifer of the third, year, for even waters of Nimrim become desolations. And I have caused to cease to Moab, an affirmation of Jehovah, him who is offering in a high place, and him who is making perfume to his God. Therefore my heart for Moab as pipes doth sound, and my heart for men of Ke'ar Heres as pipes doth sound, therefore the abundance he made did perish. For every head is bald, and every beard diminished, on all hands cuttings, and on the loins sackcloth. On all roofs of Moab, and in her broad places, all of it, is, lamentation, for I have broken Moab as a vessel in which there is no pleasure, an affirmation of Jehovah. How hath it been broken down? They have howled, how hath Moab turned the neck ashamed, and Moab hath been for a derision, and for a terror to all round about her. For thus said Jehovah, Lo, as an eagle he doth flee, and hath spread his wings unto Moab. Captured have been the cities, and the strongholds are caught, and the heart of the mighty of Moab hath been in that day as the heart of a distressed woman. And Moab hath been destroyed from being a people, for against Jehovah he exerted himself. Fear, and a snare, and a jinn, are, for thee, O inhabitant of Moab, an affirmation of Jehovah. Whoso is fleeing because of the fear falleth into the snare, and whoso is coming up from the snare is captured by the jinn, for I bring in unto her, unto Moab, the year of their inspection, an affirmation of Jehovah. In the shadow of Heshbon stood powerless have fugitives, for fire hath gone forth from Heshbon, 
and a flame from within Sion, and it consumeth the corner of Moab, and the crown of the sons of Shein. What to thee, O Moab, perished hath the people of Chemosh, for thy sons were taken with the captives, and thy daughters with the captivity. And I have turned back, to, the captivity of Moab, in the latter end of the days, an affirmation of Jehovah. Hitherto, is, the judgment of Moab. Jeremiah chapter 49 Concerning the sons of Ammon, thus said Jehovah, Sons, hath Israel none? Er, hath he none? Wherefore hath Malcam possessed Gad? And his people and its cities have dwelt? Therefore, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have sounded unto Rabbah of the sons of Ammon a shout of battle, and it hath been for a heap, a desolation, and her daughters with fire are burnt, and Israel hath succeeded its heirs, said hath Jehovah. Howl, Heshbon, for spoiled is Ai, cry, daughters of Rabbah, gird on sackcloth, lament, and go to and fro by the hedges, for Malcham into captivity doth go, his priests and his princes together. What dost thou boast thyself in valleys? Flowed hath thy valley, O backsliding daughter, who is trusting in her treasures, who doth come in unto me? Lo, I am bringing in upon thee a fear, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah of hosts, from all round about thee, and ye have been driven out each before it, and there is no gatherer of the wandering. And after this I turn back the captivity of the sons of Ammon, an affirmation of Jehovah. Concerning Edom, thus said Jehovah of hosts, is wisdom no more in Taman? Perished hath counsel from the intelligent? Vanished hath their wisdom? Flee, turn, go deep to dwell, ye inhabitants of Dedan, for the calamity of Esau I brought in upon him, the time I inspected him. If gatherers have come into thee, they do not leave gleanings, if thieves in the night, they have destroyed their sufficiency. For I, I have made Esau bare, I have uncovered his secret places, and to be hidden he is not able, spoiled, is, his seed, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thine orphans, I do keep alive, and thy widows, on me trust ye. For thus said Jehovah, they whose judgment is not to drink of the cup, do certainly drink, and thou, art, he that is entirely acquitted. Thou art not acquitted, for thou certainly drinkest. For, by myself, I have sworn, an affirmation of Jehovah, that for a desolation, for a reproach, for a waste, and for a reviling is Basra, and all her cities are for wastes age during. A report I have heard from Jehovah, and an ambassador among nations is sent, gather yourselves and come in against her, and rise ye for battle. For, lo, little I have made thee among nations, despised among men. Thy terribleness hath lifted thee up, the pride of thy heart, O dweller in clefts of the rock, holding the high place of the height, for thou makest high as an eagle thy nest, from thence I bring thee down an affirmation of Jehovah. And Edom hath been for a desolation, every passer by her is astonished, and doth hiss because of all her plagues. As the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and its neighbors, said Jehovah, no one doth dwell there, nor sojourn in her doth a son of man. Lo, as a lion he cometh up, because of the rising of the Jordan, unto the enduring habitation but I cause to rest, I cause him to run from off her, and who is chosen. Concerning her I lay a charge, for who is like me? And who conveneth me? And who is this shepherd who standeth before me? Therefore, hear ye the counsel of Jehovah, that he hath counseled concerning Edom, and his devices that he hath devised concerning the inhabitants of Taman, drag them out do not little ones of the flock make desolate over them doth he not their habitation? From the noise of their fall hath the earth shaken, the cry, at the sea of Suf is its voice heard. Lo, as an eagle he cometh up, 
and fleeth, and he spreadeth his wings over Basra, and the heart of the mighty of Edom hath been in that day, as the heart of a distressed woman. Concerning Damascus, ashamed hath been Hamath and Arpad, for an evil report they have heard, they have been melted, in the sea, is, sorrow, to be quiet it is not able. Feeble hath been Damascus, she turned to flee, and fear strengthened her, distress and pangs have seized her, as a traveling woman. How is it not left, the city of praise, the city of my joy? Therefore fall do her young men in her broad places, and all the men of war are cut off in that day, an affirmation of Jehovah of hosts. And I have kindled a fire against the wall of Damascus, and it consumed palaces of Ben-Hadad. Concerning Kedar, and concerning the kingdoms of Hazer, that Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon hath smitten, thus said Jehovah, Arise ye, go ye up unto Kedar, and spoil the sons of the east. Their tents and their flock they do take, their curtains, and all their vessels, and their camels, they bear away for themselves, and they called concerning them, Fear, is, roundabout. Flee, bemoan mightily, go deep to dwell, ye inhabitants of Hazer, an affirmation of Jehovah, for given counsel against you hath Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, yea, he deviseth against them a device. Rise ye, go up unto a nation at rest, dwelling confidently, an affirmation of Jehovah, it hath no two-leaved doors nor bar, alone they do dwell. And their camels have been for a prey, and the multitude of their cattle for a spoil, and I have scattered them to every wind, who cut off the corner, of the beard, and from all its passages I bring in their calamity, an affirmation of Jehovah. And Hazer hath been for a habitation of dragons, a desolation, unto the age, no one doth dwell there, nor sojourn in it doth a son of man. That which hath been the word of Jehovah unto Jeremiah the prophet concerning Elam, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, saying, Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Lo, I am breaking the bow of Elam, the beginning of their might. And I have brought into Elam four winds, from the four ends of the heavens, and have scattered them to all these winds, and there is no nation whither outcasts of Elam come not in. And I have affrighted Elam before their enemies, and before those seeking their life, and I have brought in against them evil, the heat of mine anger, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have sent after them the sword, till I have consumed them. And I have set my throne in Elam, and I have destroyed thence king and princes, an affirmation of Jehovah. And it hath come to pass, in the latter end of the days, I turn back, to, the captivity of Elam, an affirmation of Jehovah. Jeremiah chapter 50 The word that Jehovah hath spoken concerning Babylon, concerning the land of the Chaldeans, by the hand of Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among nations, and sound, and lift up an ensign, sound, do not hide, say ye, captured hath been Babylon, put to shame hath been Bel, broken hath been Merodach, put to shame have been her grievous things, broken have been her idols. For come up against her hath a nation from the north, it mocketh her land become a desolation, and there is not an inhabitant in it. From man even unto beast, they have moved, they have gone. In those days, and at that time, an affirmation of Jehovah, come and do sons of Israel, they and sons of Judah together, going on and weeping they go, and Jehovah their God they seek. To Zion they ask the way, thitherward, are, their faces, come in, and we are joined unto Jehovah, a covenant age during, not forgotten. A perishing flock hath my people been, their shepherds have caused them to err, to, the mountains causing them to go back, from mountain unto hill they have gone, they have forgotten their crouching place. All finding them have devoured them, and their adversaries have said, We are not guilty, because that they sinned against Jehovah, the habitation of righteousness, and the hope of their fathers, Jehovah.
Move ye from the midst of Babylon, and from the land of the Chaldeans go out. And be as he goats before a flock. For, lo, I am stirring up, and am causing to come up against Babylon, an assembly of great nations from a land of the north, and they have set in array against her, from thence she is captured, its arrow, as a skillful hero, returneth not empty. And Chaldea hath been for a spoil, all her spoilers are satisfied, an affirmation of Jehovah. Because thou rejoicest, because thou exultest, O spoilers of mine inheritance, because thou increasest as a heifer, at, the tender grass, and dost cry aloud as bulls. Ashamed hath been your mother greatly, confounded hath she been that bear you, lo, the hindermost of nations, is, a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of Jehovah it is not inhabited, and it hath been a desolation all of it. Every passer by at Babylon is astonished, and doth hiss because of all her plagues. Set yourselves in array against Babylon round about, all ye treading a bow, shoot at her, have no pity on the arrow, for against Jehovah she hath sinned. Shout against her round about, she hath given forth her hand, fallen have her foundations, thrown down have been her walls, for it is the vengeance of Jehovah, be avenged of her, as she did, do ye to her. Cut off the sower from Babylon, and him handling the sickle in the time of harvest, because of the oppressing sword, each unto his people, they turn, and each to his land, they flee. A scattered sheep is Israel, lions have driven away, at first, devour him did the king of Ashur, and now, at last, broken his bone hath Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon. Therefore thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, Lo, I am seeing after the king of Babylon, and after his land, as I have seen after the king of Ashur. And I have brought back Israel unto his habitation, and he hath fed on Carmel, and on Bashan. And in Mount Ephraim, and on Gilead is his soul satisfied. In those days, and at that time, an affirmation of Jehovah, sought is the iniquity of Israel, and it is not, and the sin of Judah, and it is not found, for I am propitious to those whom I leave. Against the land of Merathaim, go up against it, and unto the inhabitants of Pecod, waste and devote their posterity, an affirmation of Jehovah, and do according to all that I have commanded thee. A noise of battle, is, in the land, and of great destruction. How hath it been cut and broken, the hammer of the whole earth? How hath Babylon been for a desolation among nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and also, thou art captured, O Babylon, and thou, thou hast known, thou hast been found, and also art caught, for against Jehovah thou hast stirred thyself up. Jehovah hath opened his treasury, and he bringeth out the weapons of his indignation, for a work, is, to the Lord Jehovah of hosts, in the land of the Chaldeans. Come ye into her from the extremity, open ye her storehouses, raise her up as heaps, and devote her, let her have no remnant. Slay all her kind, they go down to slaughter, wa, is, on them, for come hath their day, the time of their inspection. A voice of fugitives and escaped ones, is, from the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of Jehovah our God, the vengeance of his temple. Summon unto Babylon archers, all treading the bow, encamp against her roundabout, let, her, have no escape, recompense to her according to her work, according to all that she did, do to her, for unto Jehovah she hath been proud, unto the Holy One of Israel. Therefore fall do her young men in her broad places, and all her men of war are cut off in that day, an affirmation of Jehovah. Lo, I, am, against thee, O pride, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah of hosts, for thy day hath come, the time of thy inspection. And stumbled hath pride, and he hath fallen, and hath no razor up, 
and I have kindled a fire in his cities, and it hath devoured all round about him. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, Oppressed are the sons of Israel, and the sons of Judah together, and all their captors have kept hold on them, they have refused to send them away. Their Redeemer, is, strong, Jehovah of hosts, is, his name, he doth thoroughly plead their cause, so as to cause the land to rest, and he hath given trouble to the inhabitants of Babylon. A sword, is, for the Chaldeans, an affirmation of Jehovah, and it, is, on the inhabitants of Babylon, and on her heads, and on her wise men. A sword, is, on the princes, and they have become foolish, a sword, is, on her mighty ones, and they have been broken down. A sword, is, on his horses and on his chariot, and on all the rabble who, are, in her midst, and they have become women, a sword, is, on her treasuries, and they have been spoiled. A sword, is, on her waters, and they have been dried up, for it, is, a land of graven images, and in idols they do boast themselves. Therefore dwell Duzim with I I am, yea, dwelt in her have daughters of the ostrich, and it is not inhabited any more for ever, nor dwelt in unto all generations. As overthrown by God with Sodom, and with Gomorrah, and with its neighbors, an affirmation of Jehovah, none doth dwell there, nor sojourn in her doth a son of man. Lo, a people hath come from the north, even a great nation, and many kings are stirred up from the sides of the earth. Bow and halbert they seize, cruel, are, they, and they have no mercy, their voice as a sea soundeth, and on horses they ride, set in array as a man for battle, against thee, O daughter of Babylon. Heard hath the king of Babylon their report, and feeble have been his hands, distress hath seized him, pain as a traveling woman. Lo, as a lion he cometh up, because of the rising of the Jordan, unto the enduring habitation, but I cause to rest, I cause them to run from off her. And who is chosen? On her I lay a charge, for who, is, like me? And who doth convene me? And who, is, this shepherd who standeth before me? Therefore, hear ye the counsel of Jehovah, that he counseled concerning Babylon, and his devices that he hath devised concerning the land of the Chaldeans, drag them out do not little ones of the flock, doth he not make desolate over them the habitation? From the voice, captured was Babylon, hath the earth been shaken, and a cry among nations hath been heard. Jeremiah chapter 51 Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am stirring up against Babylon, and the inhabitants of Leb, my withstanders, a destroying wind. And I have sent to Babylon fanners, and they have fanned it, and they empty its land, for they have been against it, round about, in the day of evil. Let not the treader tread his bow, nor lift himself up in his coat of mail, nor have ye pity on her young men, devote ye to destruction all her host. And fallen have the wounded in the land of the Chaldeans, and the pierced through in her streets. For not forsaken is Israel and Judah, by its God, by Jehovah of hosts, for their land hath been full of guilt, against the Holy One of Israel. Flee ye from the midst of Babylon, and deliver ye each his soul, be not cut off in its iniquity, for a time of vengeance it, is, to Jehovah, recompense he is rendering to her. A golden cup, is, Babylon in the hand of Jehovah, making drunk all the earth, of its wine drunk have nations, therefore boast themselves do nations. Suddenly hath Babylon fallen, yea, it is broken, howl ye for it, take balm for her pain, if so be it may be healed. We healed Babylon, and she was not healed, forsake her, and we go, each to his land for come unto the heavens hath its judgment, and it hath been lifted up unto the clouds. Jehovah hath brought forth our righteousnesses, come, and we recount in Zion the work of Jehovah our God. Cleanse ye the arrows, 
fill the shields, stirred up hath Jehovah the spirit of the kings of Madia, for against Babylon his device, is, to destroy it, for the vengeance of Jehovah it, is, the vengeance of his temple. Unto the walls of Babylon lift up an ensign, strengthen the watch, establish the watchers, prepare the ambush, for Jehovah hath both devised and done that which he spake, concerning the inhabitants of Babylon. O dweller on many waters, abundant in treasures, come and hath thine end, the measure of thy dishonest gain. Sworn hath Jehovah of hosts by himself, that, surely I have filled thee, with, men as the cankerworm, and they have cried against thee, shouting. The maker of earth by his power, the establisher of the world by his wisdom, who by his understanding stretched out the heavens. At the voice he giveth forth, a multitude of waters, are, in the heavens, and he causeth vapors to come up from the end of the earth, lightnings for rain he hath made, and he bringeth out wind from his treasures. Brutish hath been every man by knowledge, put to shame hath been every refiner by a graven image, for false, is, his molten image, and there is no breath in them. Vanity, are, they, work of errors, in the time of their inspection they perish. Not like these, is, the portion of Jacob, for he, is, former of all things, and, Israel is, the rod of his inheritance, Jehovah of hosts, is, his name. An axe, art, thou to meet weapons of war, and I have broken in pieces by thee nations, and I have destroyed by thee kingdoms. And I have broken in pieces by thee horse and its rider, and I have broken in pieces by thee chariot and its charioteer. And I have broken in pieces by thee man and woman, and I have broken in pieces by thee old and young, and I have broken in pieces by thee young man and virgin. And I have broken in pieces by thee shepherd and his drove and I have broken in pieces by the husbandman and his team, and I have broken in pieces by the governors and prefects. And I have recompensed to Babylon, and to all inhabitants of Chaldea, all the evil that they have done in Zion, before your eyes an affirmation of Jehovah. Lo, I am, against thee, O destroying mount, an affirmation of Jehovah, that is destroying all the earth and I have stretched out my hand against thee, and I have rolled thee from the rocks, and given thee for a burnt mountain. And they take not out of thee a stone for a corner, and a stone for foundations, for desolations age during art thou, an affirmation of Jehovah. Lift ye up an ensign in the land, blow a trumpet among nations, sanctify against it nations, summon against it the kingdoms of Ararat, Mini, and Ashkenaz, a point against it an infant head, cause the horse to ascend as the rough cankerworm. Sanctify against it the nations with the kings of Media, its governors, and all its prefects, and all the land of its dominion. And shake doth the land, and it is pained, for stood against Babylon have the purposes of Jehovah, to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. Ceased have the mighty of Babylon to fight, they have remained in strongholds, failed hath their might, they have become woman, they have burned her tabernacles, broken have been her bars. Runner to meet runner doth run, and announcer to meet announcer, to announce to the king of Babylon, for captured hath been his city at the extremity. And the passages have been captured, and the reeds they have burnt with fire, and the men of war have been troubled. For thus said Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, is, as a threshing floor, the time of her threshing, yet a little, and come hath the time of her harvest. Devoured us, crushed us, hath Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, he hath set us, as, an empty vessel, he hath swallowed us as a dragon, he hath filled his belly with my dainties, he hath driven us away. My wrong, and, that of, my flesh, is, on Babylon, say doth the inhabitant of Zion, and my blood, is, on the inhabitants of Chaldea, say doth Jerusalem. 
Therefore, thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am pleading thy cause, and I have avenged thy vengeance, and dried up its sea, and made its fountains dry. And Babylon hath been for heaps, a habitation of dragons, an astonishment, and a hissing, without inhabitant. Together as young lions they roar, they have shaken themselves as lions well song. In their heat I make their banquets, and I have caused them to drink, so that they exult, and have slept a sleep age during, and awake not, an affirmation of Jehovah. I cause them to go down as lambs to slaughter, as rams with he goats. How hath Shashak been captured, yea, caught is the praise of the whole earth, how hath Babylon been for an astonishment among nations. Come up against Babylon hath the sea, with a multitude of its billows it hath been covered. Its cities have been for a desolation, a dry land, and a wilderness, a land, none doth dwell in them, nor pass over into them doth a son of man. And I have seen after Bel and Babylon, and I have brought forth that which he swallowed, from his mouth, and flow no more unto him do nations, also the wall of Babylon hath fallen. Go forth from its midst, O my people, and deliver ye, each his soul, because of the fierceness of the anger of Jehovah. And lest your heart be tender, and ye be afraid of the report that is heard in the land, and come in a year hath the report, and after it in a year the report, and violence, is, in the land, ruler against ruler. Therefore, lo, days are coming, and I have seen after the graven images of Babylon. And all its land is ashamed, and all its pierced ones do fall in its midst. And cried aloud against Babylon have heavens and earth, and all that, is, in them, for, from the north come to it do the spoilers, an affirmation of Jehovah. Even Babylon, is, to fall, ye pierced of Israel, even they of Babylon have fallen, ye pierced of all the earth. Ye escaped of the sword, go on, stand not, remember ye from afar Jehovah, and let Jerusalem come up on your heart. We have been ashamed, for we heard reproach, covered hath shame our faces, for come and have strangers, against the sanctuaries of the house of Jehovah. Therefore, lo, days are coming, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have seen after its graven images, and in all its land grown doth the wounded. Because Babylon goeth up to the heavens, and because it fenceth the high place of its strength, from me come into it do spoilers, an affirmation of Jehovah. A voice of a cry, is, from Babylon, and of great destruction from the land of the Chaldean. For Jehovah is spoiling Babylon, and hath destroyed out of it a great voice, and sounded have its billows as many waters, given forth a noise hath their voice. For coming against it, against Babylon hath a spoiler, and captured have been its mighty ones, broken have been their bows, for the God of recompenses, Jehovah doth certainly repay. And I have caused its princes to drink, and its wise men, its governors, and its prefects, and its mighty ones, and they have slept a sleep age during, and they awake not, an affirmation of the king, Jehovah of hosts, is, his name. Thus said Jehovah of hosts, the wall of Babylon the broad one is utterly made bare, and her high gates with fire are burnt, and peoples labor in vain, and nations in fire, and have been weary. The word that Jeremiah the prophet hath commanded Sariah son of Neriah, son of Messiah, in his going with Zedekiah king of Judah to Babylon, in the fourth year of his reign, and Sariah, is, a quiet prince. And Jeremiah writeth all the evil that cometh unto Babylon on one book, all these words that are written concerning Babylon. And Jeremiah saith unto Sariah, When thou dost enter Babylon, then thou hast seen, and hast read all these words. And hast said, Jehovah, thou, thou hast spoken concerning this place, to cut it off, that there is none dwelling in it, from man even unto cattle, for it is a desolation age during. And it hath come to pass, when thou dost finish reading this book, 
thou dost bind to it a stone, and hast cast it into the midst of Frat. And said, Thus sink doth Babylon, and it doth not arise, because of the evil that I am bringing in against it, and they have been weary. Hitherto, R. Words of Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 52 A son of twenty and one years, is, Zedekiah in his reigning, and eleven years he hath reigned in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother, is, Hamutal daughter of Jeremiah of Libnahum. And he doth the evil thing in the eyes of Jehovah, according to all that Jehoiakim hath done. For, because of the anger of Jehovah, it hath been in Jerusalem and Judah till he hath cast them from before his face, and Zedekiah doth rebel against the king of Babylon. And it cometh to pass, in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth of the month, come hath Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, he and all his force, against Jerusalem, and they encamp against it, and build against it a fortification roundabout. And the city cometh into siege till the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. In the fourth month, in the ninth of the month, when the famine is severe in the city, and there hath been no bread for the people of the land. Then is the city broken up, and all the men of war flee, and go forth from the city by night, the way of the gate between the two walls, that, is, by the king's garden and the Chaldeans, are, by the city roundabout and they go the way of the plain. And the forces of the Chaldeans pursue after the king, and overtake Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and all his forces have been scattered from him. And they capture the king, and bring him up unto the king of Babylon to Riblah, in the land of Hamath, and he speaketh with him judgments. And the king of Babylon slaughtereth the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, and also all the princes of Judah hath he slaughtered in Riblah. And the eyes of Zedekiah he hath blinded, and he bindeth him in brazen fetters, and the king of Babylon bringeth him to Babylon, and putteth him in the house of inspection unto the day of his death. And in the fifth month, in the tenth of the month, it, is, the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, come hath Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, he hath stood before the king of Babylon in Jerusalem. And he burneth the house of Jehovah, and the house of the king, and all the houses of Jerusalem, even every great house he hath burned with fire. And all the walls of Jerusalem round about broken down have all the forces of the Chaldeans that, are, with the chief of the executioners. And of the poor of the people, and the remnant of the people who are left in the city, and those who are falling away, who have fallen unto the king of Babylon, and the remnant of the multitude, hath Nebuzaradan chief of the executioners, removed. And of the poor of the land hath Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, left for vine dressers and for husbandmen. And the pillars of brass that, are, to the house of Jehovah, and the bases, and the brass and sea that, is, in the house of Jehovah, have the Chaldeans broken, and they bear away all the brass of them to Babylon. And the pots, and the shovels, and the snuffers, and the bowls, and the spoons, and all the vessels of brass with which they minister, they have taken away. And the basins, and the firepans, and the bowls, and the pots, and the candlesticks, and the spoons, and the cups, the gold of that which, is, gold, and the silver of that which, is, silver, hath the chief of the executioners taken. The two pillars, the one sea, and the twelve brazen oxen that, are, beneath the bases, that King Solomon made for the house of Jehovah, there was no weighing of the brass of all these vessels. As to the pillars, eighteen cubits, is, the height of the one pillar, and a cord of twelve cubits doth compass it, and its thickness, is, four fingers hollow. And the chapiter upon it, is, of brass, and the height of the one chapiter, is, five cubits, and network and pomegranates, are, on the chapiter roundabout, the whole, is, of brass, 
and like these have the second pillar, and pomegranates. And the pomegranates are ninety and six on a side, all the pomegranates, are, a hundred on the network roundabout. And the chief of the executioners taketh Sariah the head priest, and Zephaniah the second priest, and the three keepers of the threshold. And out of the city he hath taken a certain eunuch, who hath been inspector over the men of war, and seven men of those seeing the king's face, who have been found in the city, and the head scribe of the host, who mustereth the people of the land, and sixty men of the people of the land, who are found in the midst of the city. And Nebuzaradan, chief of the executioners, taketh them, and bringeth them unto the king of Babylon to Riblah. And the king of Babylon smitteth them, and putteth them to death in Riblah, in the land of Hamath, and he removeth Judah from off its own ground. This is the people whom Nebuchadrezzar hath removed, in the seventh year, of Jews, three thousand and twenty and three. In the eighteenth year of Nebuchadrezzar from Jerusalem, souls, eight hundred thirty and two. In the three and twentieth year of Nebuchadrezzar, hath Nebuzaradan chief of the guard removed of Jewish souls, seven hundred forty and five, all the souls, are, four thousand and six hundred. And it cometh to pass, in the thirty and seventh year of the removal of Jehoiakim king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the twenty and fifth of the month, hath evil Merodach king of Babylon lifted up, in the year of his reign, the head of Jehoiakim king of Judah, and bringeth him out from the house of restraint. And speaketh with him good things, and setteth his throne above the throne of the kings who, are, with him in Babylon. And he hath changed his prison garments, and he hath eaten bread before him continually, all the days of his life. And his allowance a continual allowance hath been given to him by the king of Babylon, the matter of a day in its day, till the day of his death all days of his life.